never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster with the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. This telecast is copyrighted by Hometown 24 for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or retransmission of this game without the express written consent of Hometown 24 is prohibited. Brought to you by Bank of Heinemann, Thacker Grigsby, Hyden Citizens Bank, Isom IGA, ARH, Bluegrass Sports Nation, TVS and HT24plus.com.
In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Welcome back to Memorial Gym, about three and a half minutes away from tip-off here as the Hazard Lady Bulldogs will go up against the Prairie County Central Commodore. So, Manus, crowd's starting to come in. We expect a, a very good crowd. We expect a good crowd at home as well to tune into this. Hey, it's... Uh, Tuesday night, a good night to be back and uh, see a little basketball. And we're at the apex of the season, getting ready to go down the roller coaster to district tournament time. And these are the games that prepare you for district tournament time. And as we've said now with the seating and everything, a little bit more importance placed on this game uh, tonight. Yes, and we talked a little earlier about these two teams matching up. Uh, you know, 
Last time these two teams met, it was in the tournament last year, district first round, and Hazard walked away with a big win there. So uh, you can bet the Commodores are wanting another opportunity at the at the Bulldogs. I'm sure they're ready to go, and Coach McElhorn has uh, got them going. And uh, I mean, really, do you have to? Will you rival? Do you really no, have to? No, I wouldn't think raw, so. Raw, 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 and all that in the locker room. No, if you can't get up for your rival. Uh, then you probably don't need to be playing basketball. But, uh, you know, you just never know, though, that you once again you're dealing with 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18-year-old Never kids, know. So. Never know. And want to remind everyone that's already tuned in, Thursday night we'll have another doubleheader live from Hyman, Kentucky, as the Cougars, Letcher County Central, will travel over to play the North County Central Patriots. Should be two good basketball games there as well, man. Once again, same, the same scenario is going to play out Thursday that will play out tonight between these girls and boys teams here tonight. Well, as uh, we look around the crowd, good to see Earl Stevens and David Ritchie <laughs> yes. in the crowd, two of her favorites, and they're sitting over here. They're our bodyguards tonight, yes. folks. So we're going to give us all kinds of help, <laughs> support over Absolutely. Here. And, uh, so it should be great, and uh, we're getting ready for our starting lineup. So just over a minute, the clock should run down, and we'll go to our starting lineups and get everything going here as Coach McAllarts and Coach Howard, two fine coaches in their region, getting their teams ready to go. As we hear a little ACDC getting them all fired up. I think so. Weather cool outside cold, so all you folks out there, if you can get to a high school ball game to support these young people, do that because that's what this is all about. And if you and if you can't uh, get to the game, as Benny Campbell is in the house and, and Chris Hamburg is in the house, and our officials for tonight's game and minus. We're ready for the starting lineup. And of course, it's going to be the uh, visitors on the scoreboard. The uh, Perry County Central Lady Commodores, they're eight and four. Coached once again by Misty McAlarnitz. And as we, we had over the course of the Christmas break, they were two and two. And with that two and two, they uh, played some really good teams, David. They played North and Laurel, and they played in the finals of the Smoky uh, Mountain Classic down there against Johnson Central. So they yeah. played a good schedule over the course of the Christmas break. Absolutely. So here we go with the starting lineups. And first, it's going to be uh, number 20, senior guard Emily Neese. Number 13, junior guard, Kyra McAlarnitz. Number three, sophomore guard, Taylor Couch. Number 24, junior guard, Cheyenne Couch. And next and last, number 14, sophomore forward, Brooklyn Cornett. And now it will be the Hazard Lady Bulldogs coming in with a record of eight and six. And they fooled me again, David. Lights go out Lights and Hazard. Go out. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, they were oh, one and two over the Christmas break, and they had a big win against Collins Starting High School guard. in the Four I Bank Whitaker Cla uh, Winter Classic Yay. at Garrett County. Number five starts us out, eighth grade guard, and Matty guard, Frontapple. Number Next, number 13, senior guard, and Heidi and Bentley. Number 20, Autumn number 20 freshman guard, Autumn Ramey. And at forward, number 11, freshman Laura Average. And last, number 30, freshman center Hannah Cottle. The Lady Bulldogs are coached by Mr. Jeremy Howard. And welcome back. We got lots. <laughs> we got lots. Uh, absolutely. And our good friend Corbett Mullins up at Wolfpen. He's picking on us. Uh, <laughs> 
Well, he may be picking on me. He said, I haven't seen you since last year, but you don't look in, you know. Any you're, better. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, I guess uh, so. He's giving us a rough time. Glad to have him along tonight. You're looking better than me, David. And our buddy, as he always says, as Dave Dixon says, it's time to play a little ball in Hatcher. It's time. And uh, as we get ready for the tip-off, tonight's referees are Chris Ambergie, Travis Purry, and Benny Campbell. Absolutely. And uh, – and Three look, fine officials do outstanding work, and all their officials in the region work hard. As we step in, and it'll be Bentley against McAlarnitz, and it comes to uh, Front Apple as Hazard gets the tip. Commodore's and, in that man. And Caldwell with left hand missed it. Did everything right, just couldn't put it down, Manus. Nice. In the corner, and it will go out of bounds off of. Uh, Lady Bulldogs, so yeah, it'll be underneath as uh, Looks like Bentley Couch. may have got a hand on it as it went out. Nice dribbles back out against the man-to-man -man of the Lady Bulldogs. Good spacing by the Commodores on the offense and Hazard in that tight man. Yep. Caught a look like she was playing ball man right in the middle of the lane on the line. And she knocks it away from McLarnitz, but out. Couch with a deep three, misses it. And rebounded by Everidge, stolen. Good hustle on the ball. Everidge beats McAlarnes to it. Long throw, knocked down by Cornet. And both teams, <laughs> both teams with a loose ball right now. A little bit of adrenaline, David. Yeah. McAlarnes with a three misses it. I like that shot by McAlarnes. She can hit that. That's a 20 footer, but she shoots that well. Bentley takes it. Caudle misses it. Caudle got a good look. That's a tough shot where you can't use the board there. McAlarnitz up with a jumper, misses it. Gets her own rebound, but she knocked it out of bounds, and it'll go to the Lady Bulldogs. Yep, 6.39 to go, first quarter. No score yet. Uh, both teams trying to fill it. Manus. Yeah, getting her second win a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think so. Ramey with the basketball trying to go to Cottle. It looks like a concerted effort to get the ball to Cottle. Ramey up and off the board, missed it. Up with the board, and she is fouled. And it will be on number 14, Cornet. And that'll be her first. Cornet ended up behind her and uh, nowhere to go there but reach. And that will cost her one there. Looks like, David, that uh, Coach Howard is looking to go inside to Cottle right off the bat. Cottle was first improved a whole lot from last season, Manus. Last year, she really d couldn't move well on the block. This year, she's moving very well, and she shoots it very well. So, And being a freshman, she's got a lot of growth, and she makes the second of two. Yep. Let's give her two. Hazard picks up in a, a soft man-to-man. -man. And right there's a good switch by the dogs as Hazard come, uh, Purry comes off the screen. Nice misses it, and it's going to go off of Caudill. So, uh, Perry Central will retain it underneath the goal, yeah. David. Good Coach McAlarnes, you give Nice a 15-footer, she'll take it every time. And, of course, nobody touched it, so yeah. it's not over and back. Good ball movement by the Commodores coming off the screen. Couch up. Misses it, and Front Apple with the rebound. Head up looking, and she's going to throw a nice pass to Caudill for two. Outstanding. Outstanding pass. She looked to the left side and hit Caudill under the basket. Very well done. Set her up exactly where all she had to do is go straight up, David, and lay it in. Give Caudill four points. Couch coming off the screen, gives it to McAlarnes, taking it to the go. Goes strong, and the foul call is going to be on the floor. Looks like that's going to be caught. I think they give the baseline up, and that, that hurt right there. You, don't, you want to cut the baseline off and make them turn and come into the defense. Nice with the shot up and good. Use the left hand. Emily Nice, nice play. On the left side of the bucket, uses the left hand correctly as you're supposed to. Good fundamentals showed there. Bentley goes in and it's gonna count the basket. Count the basket for Bentley. Bentley 
Good touch. And she's going to go to the line for the old fashioned three point plays. Soft touch off the glass. Yep, and uh, Coach McElhorn did not agree with the call. And uh, Bentley misses long with the free throw. Couch to couch. 6 2. Lady Bulldogs, couch with a shot, blocked by Front Apple. Got a two on one. Gives it up. Nice plays the pass lane with a steal. Front Apple probably should have bounced that in quickly. And the Cornet, Cornet missed it. And it will stay with the uh, Lady Commodores. You know, uh, probably a bounce pass there would have worked better in main inside, you know, I think. Work on that two on one all the time and practice. Yep. Kick out to McLawrence. She's long with it. Front apple with a rebound. Pushing it up the middle. And it's stolen by Couch. Bounce there, but yep. Bentley wasn't open because Couch cut the passing lane off. To Nice. And uh, off the Lady Bulldogs, and they'll uh, throw it in on the sideline. David, the young. You know, just a little bit of uh, not converting easy shots right now, but kind of expected in a rival game. you got to make those layups and the easy bunnies. Nice with a shot up, missed it. Rebound by Caudill. Nice with a good look. And uh, nice. it's a walk. Yep, she calls that's that by pressure and defense from Apple and her nowhere to go. Got to read your defense when you make that pass. There. Absolutely. Number. I want to say hello to Dave. Michelle Sandlin listening in here tonight from Hazard. Glad to have him along on the Hometown 24. Mr. Brent Hall over in Topmost. Glad to have you. And Dexter Camel and Black EKY. Glad to have you along. East Cornet. Cornet up with it. And good <laughs> assist to Nice. That's that six footer. Cornet's very good there. She's got, she just. Puts a nice touch on the basketball. And that's a tough and shot on that baseline, David. Yes, that's it not is. not an easy shot. Average with the jumper just inside. Misses it. McElarnitz with the rebound. May have shot it a little early, Manus. Uh, nobody with a white uniform under the basket that time. Nice up with a shot. Cornet with a rebound. Up and in. Cornet a big bucket. We're tied at six with 3.34 to go. And... We expect nothing else from the Bulldogs and Commodores. You have corn at four. Bentley, nowhere to go. Throws it out to Average. Average spins. Nice comes in to help. Average up. It's blocked. McLaurin's with a rebound. Nice to Couch. Couch for the three. Got it. She got set. Got a follow through and a nice touch by Couch. Nice setup by Nice and getting it to her in the in the pocket where she could go straight up. Pressure being placed on average. Bentley tries to take her off the dribble up and nice good off the board. Nice move. Uses the square and gets the bucket and eight to nine as Commodore still. Leading by one. Back door to Nice. She misses with the left hand. Hannah Cottle with the rebound. Bentley pushes the ball up the floor. Spins up, and she is fouled. And let's see who that foul is going to be on, David. Could have bailed her be out because she was in a predicament there where that was a tough shot, and uh, Commodore's bailing her out. And that foul was on Taylor Couch. As Bentley will shoot. Two free throws in the first one, uh, in and out. And Manus, want to give a big shout out to Jeff down in Johnson City, Tennessee, tuning in to watch some high school basketball. Want to say hello to Jeff down there in Johnson City. Bentley misses both. Nice with a rebound. Now you'll see the 
Commodore Spreadmore, maybe to give Nice a little drive room. As Young and Anderson comes in, and Anderson comes in and scores two right off the bat. Nice with an excellent job, good bounce pass in the traffic where it counted and uh, used the board well. That's her third assist already. Bentley goes strong to the board and picks up another foul. Seems like Bentley is going to the line. Uh, with a vengeance. Yeah, with a vengeance. You're right. Anderson picks there. up the foul. Under two minutes, first quarter, 11 to eight. Bentley's missed her first three uh, shots. Normally she doesn't miss them and she hits yeah. that first one. You know they're home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been oh, you in a tight ball. Know it. No it's Felder it. comes in for the Lady Commodores and uh, Bentley will have a second free throw. Up and she's got it. And we have a media timeout and 159 to go. It's 11-10. Commodores by one when we come back. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to the historic Memorial Gym in downtown Hazard and uh, minus 11-10. We have expected this. We think both teams, they play their best game when they meet their rivals. Oh, yeah, and both teams are kind of settled down. Uh, Coach McElarn has, has uh, put in different subs. Got a second win going here. Nice has taken over in the floor game for the Lady uh, Commodores, Lady Bulldogs. You mentioned it already. Yeah. Bentley being aggressive, going taking the basketball to the go. And here we go. Here goes Nice down the lane, misses it. And the rebound is going to come down to Mac Lawrence. She puts it up and misses it. Rebound by Nice inside. She spins, gives it up, and off the board again by Anderson. We kind of talked about that early in the ball game about the rebound, and you can't give Commodore two or three shots. And might have to go back with Caudill in there uh, as Bentley is doubled, and the ball goes off the Lady Commodores as Couch comes back in for Nice. 13-10, minute 26, first quarter. And the Lady Commodores, everybody has gone out and, and some have come back in. Trying to wear down the Lady Bulldogs as Everidge is trapped and she was called for a walk. Was doubled and tried to get out of the double team and a walk was called as, as, as I mentioned, Coach Howard pulls the call off the bench, puts her right back in the basketball game. Well. You know, you look at that, and uh, she's getting in spots where there's two or three defenders on her, and she has nowhere to go. So she's got to have a little better space, and, and her teammates will have to cut to help her. Good ball movement. And you can see Caldwell is stationed right underneath the go. His couch goes up with a shot, misses it. Bentley with a rebound. Goes through people, and it, it is stolen by McElarnitz. She goes in, Euro step, and she is fouled. And that foul is on Ramey. Yeah, Ramey just caught in a spot there. McElarnitz just went straight at her and really no nothing for her to do but put her hands up, so. Michael Arnitz will shoot two, and the first one is good. Biggest lead for the Commodores at four, 14-10, 51 seconds, first quarter. As more substitutions come in for the Lady Commodores, Michael Arnitz will shoot the second one, and it's good. Nice ball through, and uh, she does all the fundamentals right there. Prairie Central has brought their defense up, and let's see if Hazard adjusts. They did. They had that was a, the shot right there in the middle by Everidge. Rebound by McElarnitz. Post up by Cornick. Kick out. Feltner loses it, and Ramey steals the basketball. 
Head up by Bentley, trying to advance it up with the dribble. She does the average. Average spins. Oh, ooh, uh, I felt that one, David. Yep, you'll do that sometimes. <laughs> and Bentley is blocked. Yep, that's a good block. Yes. Uh, Feltner makes yep. the block then on the, on the, on the block. And here you'll see the Commodores bring it up. Just 10 on the clock, so I don't know if the players are They're trying to get no, their attention yeah. right now. Yeah. As Cornet puts it up, misses it. Rebound by Cottle. Not going to get anything off, David. No, nope. nope, they're not. And the first quarter is in the books here at Memorial Gym. 15 for the Commodores, 10 for the Bulldogs. We'll be back. And the ball stolen by Hall. Put it up good. I'm 85. Getting ready to go into year 2022-23, so uh, if my count runs at about 37 years, that's a long time. Here goes Knight, and a three, Woods, yes! The fire still burns. I enjoy going out to the gym. Uh, I enjoy the kids. Great idea! She caught the ball! Have mercy! I've got to a point now where I have seen kids play today. I saw their dad, in some cases, even their grandfather. So, uh, you know, you kind of you kind of get used to them hollering at you. And I like that. Welcome back to Memorial Gym. Second quarter getting ready to start. 15-10 air score at the end of one. And minus uh, Commodores will have the basketball to get us started. Let's see if the Lady Dogs have made it. They're getting shots, just not hitting them. Yeah. And the Commodores is starting to hit some of theirs. Got to convert easy shots and free throws. And uh, Prairie Central's rotated as they come out. They've rotated everyone back in, and now they're back to the original starting lineup. Nice comes off the screen. Nice pass to Cornet for the lay-in. Nice has been very good tonight passing the basketball. She's been able to uh, get those that see us, making them look good because of her passing. Right, and, you know, it gets everybody involved in the scorebook. As you can look at my scorebook, everybody's getting into it. Average with the pass, stolen by Cornet. Nice in the middle of the floor, advances up. Nuss, give off to Couch, and two more. Looks like Coach Hurd is going to take a full timeout, and we will as well as, as the Commodores extend their lead to nine. So, you know, it's one of those games, folks, as the Commodores getting hot, and I see if Hazard can bounce back. Let's take a break. We'll be back on Hometown 24 right after this. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. Commodores lead by nine here at Memorial Gym as Coach Howard had to slow that down. A good timeout taken by him as Hazard will have the basketball as we get started back. And uh, 7.23 go second quarter. This is crucial. You, you don't want to fall behind 12-14, man. You right. want to stay in the flow of the game in a rivalry game. Yep, 8-0 run so far, and most of it by the comes through from the niece's passing. Bentley goes to the goal, and there's going to be a foul, and it looks like it's going to be on. Uh, and that's going to be on McAlarnitz, and that's going, to, that's going to be her second. So mark that one down. Her second foul comes at the 7-12 mark. Nice pass to Cottle. Oh, it does not go in. Cottle gets a rebound back to front apple. She spins up with a shot. It's a little bit short. Rebounded by Couch. Couch advances up to Couch. McElhorn's from deep. A little bit long. Rebound by front apple. Behind the back dribble. Looks up the floor. Finds Everidge. Everidge goes up with a right hand and good. Nice job. She uses the board to get the easy bucket. 12-19. Nice job by front apple. Looking up the floor and... Uh, 
A little bit of miscommunication there. If you notice, Hazard went with the pressure, and they've not been able to do that because they've not been hitting shots. So when they score, they have the pressure extended on the court as well. So we'll see if that continues. And uh, Coach uh, takes out uh, McElhorn. It's try to keep her from getting that third foul. Spin dribble by Bentley, and she has to pick her dribble up to uh, Ramey. Centers it back to front apple over to uh, Average. Average takes it strong, and that's going to be a foul on uh, Taylor Couch. Average quicker than she was last season as well, I notice, and uh, very aggressive player taking the basketball to the basket very often. Excuse me, that wasn't Taylor Couch. That was Cheyenne Couch as she makes, uh, Average makes the first free throw. Shoots the second one, makes the second one as well. 19-14, 6 second quarter. 2-2-1 two, two, by Hazard to kind of no slow No middle them person. Down. There we go. You've got to cut in the middle to break that pressure. And Couch with a fake. The runner miss it. Rebound by Bentley. Bentley, no one to help her. Takes it and comes from behind, and that was Taylor Couch. He came from behind and stole it. Good pass off to Nice, and that's going to be an and one. Thought Bentley, after she lost the ball, she kind of gave up on the play, and it's a didn't hustle back. And I think Coach Howard wanted her to hustle back. And though, you know, everybody makes a mistake, but. Uh, you know, David, when you give up the basketball like Nice has been, and when you're open, guess what happens when you're open? It you comes get, back to you. You get the basketball. You're right. And Nice misses. Bentley's got the advantage here. Goes up with a runner, misses it. Caudill with a rebound. Up, missed it. I'm telling you, Hazard. It's got Hazard's a lid on got, it right around. Yeah, <laughs> they've had a lot of shots, folks, but they just cannot hit it. And another assist for Nice at six unofficially as Cornet has eight now. Nice playing well. Cottle off the split to post. Back to Cottle, missed it. Right now, Hazard's probably their, wor their own worst defender right now. Right now, they're kind of flat-footed, David Adams. Yes, like. they are. Another assist to Cornet as she goes into double figures with yep. 10. Nice with seven assists already. And the lead's at 11 as the Commodores continue. Front and Apple misses. Yep. It could get out of hand, David Adams, right yes, here. You've got to be careful. Especially if heads start to drop if you're wearing the white. Yep. And blocked by Front Apple as Couch made the pump fake and had the avenue. As we have subs coming in now for the Lady Bulldogs, it will be Eddington coming in, and McAlarnitz is coming back in for Couch, and Feltner will come in for uh, Cheyenne Couch. That uh, could be, uh, got to watch McAlarnitz not picking up that third foul here with 440 as, as Front Apple steals Eddington out to Ramey, Ramey underneath, and lays it in. Nice layup by Ramey. Much needed. 2-2-1 two, two, by Hazard. And uh, looking for the foul, didn't get it. Dixon up with the shot and knocks it down. Guess who gets the assist? Unofficially, I have her with eight assists, David Adams. I'm telling you, she's really sharing the ball well. Average with a strong move. Nice use of the board, put it right in the square, gets the bucket. Pace has picked up. <laughs> and Hazard backs back down into a 2-1-2 two, two, a two, one, two, uh, defense half court. Hazard. Nice you know, pass. Yeah, it's good. They're sharing the basketball well and getting the buckets that way. And uh, that's how you do it. From the high post, and that was McElarnitz. As yeah. uh, Front Apple shoots the three, misses it. Rebound by McElarnitz. Really struggling shooting the basketball as the Lady Dogs anywhere on the court right now. They're just not hitting those shots that they normally make. 29-18, 3-24, second quarter. Cornet out to McAlarnes, and she misses. Rebound goes in there with the trees, Dixon does, and gets the rebound. 
McLaurin's up, and it goes in. Big touch there, gets the bucket. Front apple in and off the board. Opened right up for it, David. Yeah, somebody, good screen there by the dogs that time to get that easy shot. And, uh, you know, down here, Commodore has been shooting until they about make it. And Felder block. Nice, uh, as she's going up, is uh, the foul is called. And that's going to be on average, and that's going to be her second. 31 to 20, our score. Nice can add on to that. And Nice will shoot two. Makes the first. Nothing but net. Returning for the Lady Bulldogs, number 30, Anna Collins. Coach McElarn's playing a lot of people. I thought it was a hockey game there for a minute. The Shields coming in, but yeah. uh, I, I see the strategy where yeah. the Lady Bulldogs down as Nice makes yeah. the second. And we've got a timeout, and we'll take one as well. Folks, it's Prairie Central 33, Hazard 20. Stay with us, we'll be back. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. Welcome back to the historic Memorial Gym in Hazard. Glad to have you along tonight for high school basketball. 33-20, Commodores leading and Really and truly, it's just come down to Commodores hitting their shots and the Bulldogs not. And you know, the Lady Commodores have eight kids that have scored already. So that says a whole lot about the distribution of points and the active play in which they have. Uh, and of course, it starts when you've got a senior like Nice who is getting the ball to the people, as you said, in the right spots, and then they finish or convert those nice passes. Looks like Commodores has come out of the timeout with a zone mixed up here and hit Swert because they got the ball going the other way. And there goes Nice, and she puts it up for Cornet for two more. Cornet's uh, come to play tonight for the Commodores. And that's nine assists for her and uh, nine assists for Nice. 12 points for Cornet. 35-20 and uh, smart coaching move now by Coach McAlarns as she gets uh, her daughter out of the basketball game before she can pick up that third. Good spacing. Watch Nice. She may get a screen and go middle here. She's done it a lot of times in this ball game so far. And almost stolen by Bentley to Couch. Everybody takes a deep breath. Nice. Pump fake by Taylor Couch to Cheyenne Couch for the three off just a bit. Rebound comes off of uh, Cornet and it'll be Lady Bulldog basketball. I like the shot. She got set. I had a good fall through. Had a good base with her feet. It was just a shot that wouldn't go for. But I liked it. Right. And everybody had touched the basketball in right. the half court set. And we got Walsh the front apple and Walsh. Front apple. Yeah. Yeah. A little frustration yeah. on front apples. Uh, Half. The 1 3 1, the old, uh, I call it the old Randy Napier 1 3 1. Yeah. Adolph Rupp 1 3 1. Uh, really surprised the Lady Bulldogs last two times. Yeah. Nice with a dribble. Minute 30, second quarter. Taylor Couch off the board and good. Very impressed with that move as she went right and kept the ball low and did a good job. and utilizes the pump fake really, really yeah. well. Bentley trying to get across. Nowhere to go there, man. It's good got, defense. And they entered in there, and you got to look diagonal on that. As average with the shot, misses it. Rebound comes down to Anderson as they advance it up. Anderson moves up with the left, and she switched pivot feet. Hey, and that's don't tell, lot. though, that she was trying to do the right thing there. And, they, it, and everything went right. 
once again, sharing of the basketball by the Lady uh, Commodores. Nice diagonal pass that time, and it's going to be a jump basketball, and it's going to go to uh, Hazard. going to stay with Hazard. The basketball with 43 seconds to go, 37-20. Biggest lead of the ball game for the Commodores, 17. Basket here needed. Kick out to average. You know, now if the ball's dropping low the, as they go 2-3 match, if the ball drops low to the block, they're doubling. They've got a person on each side to double the ball on the block. As Taylor Couch picks up her second out here, 25 feet, I'm sure Coach didn't want that. Average with a – she's got to go up with it, and she throws it away. Nice, uh, no odds for her, but the kick out to Taylor Couch. The Cheyenne Couch for the three on the trailer, and it's good. Cheyenne gets set, good follow through, and she puts the lead at 20 with just 14 seconds to go. Yep, and a nice pass by Bentley to average. It's a little bit long, and Couch gets it and advances up the corner, and it's through her hands and out of bounds, but that was a good play. Yeah, good ball movement, advancing the basketball to your teammate. That's a nice job, and uh, Commodores have shared the basketball extremely well in this, this half. Dixon takes out Cows before she can pick up her third. 3.4 seconds. Can they get one off? And it's going to go out of bounds. And that looks like that's going to do us minus. And, uh, you know, it's 40 to 20. Commodores have doubled the score, and they've done it by sharing the ball and hitting shots. And it looks like Hazard is tried to force some shots, and it's not went well for them, and they're not hitting right now. Oh, and, uh, Outscored in the second quarter, 25 to 10 in the second quarter. Well, so as we go to halftime, yeah. a lot of things that's working well for Prairie Central needs to continue. A lot of things for the Lady Bulldogs made some changes. And Coach Howard in his halftime speech will go over some of those changes. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break uh, here at Memorial Gym, we're at the half of the girls' game, 40 to 20. We got basketball all night for you folks, so stay with us. Got a boys' game coming up after this, and it's it's gonna be a dandy, I can assure you. So let's take a break. We'll be back. Stay with us. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership near. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. 
At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Just want to watch the game. That turn on the ceiling fan, use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. Welcome back to Memorial Gym. We're at the half, 40-20, Perry County Central leading over the Hazard Lady Bulldogs. And Manus, uh, really and truly the Bulldogs is not, pl they're playing hard, they're just not hitting shots. Yeah, and you know, uh, Coach Hired's probably saying, let's cut that 20 to 10 going into, at least a 10 going into the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you got to take it one possession at a time. You got to have some stops. And that's down here on this end, uh, defensively, they've just had a hard time stopping the Perry Central uh, Lady Commodores. And uh, through the passing of Emily Neese, who I officially have, unofficially, have her for nine assists in the first half. Yeah, she's played well. She shared the ball exactly when she needed to. When she was doubled, she gave the ball up to her teammate. And uh, she's been a big key in this lead at 40 to 20. Even though she doesn't have the big point total, she has led the team and direct them and uh, got them where they need to be. You know, it's just like I said, eight Lady Commodores have scored in the first half. And anytime you spread that, uh, who do you guard? You know, and wow. and I think it comes down to now is who on the Hazard Lady Bulldogs can guard Nice and keep her out of the paint or keep her from getting more assist in the second half. Yeah. If we have scores out there, we'll try to get some of those for you. There's not a whole lot of ball games tonight, man. It's and it's surprisingly, to surprisingly, there. Yeah, I there. mean, uh, there will be more games Thursday Thursday night in the area, but tonight, uh, I guess you coming back from the New Year's, a lot of these guys coming back from Christmas tournaments and trying to get a little practice back in to get, you know, straighten get things back right. out, you know. Eating a lot of Christmas turkey and ham and all those mashed potatoes. Oh, and man. Sweet potatoes oh, and all yeah. that other stuff. You so. can bet on it. No question about it. <laughs> yeah. And scoring, who's leading uh, the Commodores in scoring and who's leading the Bulldogs? Surprisingly, if we were betting men, and uh, some people out there giggling when I say if, if we were, but uh, Brooklyn Cornet. She has 12 points to lead the Lady Commodores. And then you have Taylor Couch with a five, Ashley Dixon with two. Uh, um, unbelievably, McLarnitz has four, who, uh, of course, she averages 19. Uh, six for uh, Emily Neese, five for Cheyenne Couch, four for Shauna Anderson, and two for Harley Feltner. So a uh, uh, spread out. Uh, and if you just said Nice or McAlarnitz would be the leading scorer, everybody said, yeah, of course. But Cornet has made every shot that's been presented to her, and she leads them with 12 points. For the Hazard Lady Bulldogs, you have uh, Front Apple has two, Average has six, Bentley has six, Ramey has two, and Cottle has four for their total of 20. Uh, so. A little bit more scoring, as you said, maybe changing ends uh, will help the Lady Bulldogs in scoring down here on this open end down here. But you got to convert the easy buckets. You got to make those free throws, and you can't have live turnovers that lead to easy baskets. Well, you're right, Manus, and I really feel in this ball game special the way it's going. I think the next four minutes is crucial about this game. It's either going to be full city or we're going to get back to maybe a closer ball game. And I don't think the, the Lady Bulldogs are going to fold. I believe they're going to come right at them with their best shot right here. And let's see what happens and see what Coach Harrod has drawn up and talked about at halftime. 
Well, anyway, we're going. That's the man, Toy Oda, at the half. And glad you joined us. And uh, we will be back just in a few minutes. Third quarter is not long off here. Just a couple minutes away, and we'll have it. And want to remind everyone also. We'll have the boys game about 20 minutes after this game and coming up right here on Hometown 24. We'll take a break. We'll have third quarter action coming up from Memorial Gym. Stay with us. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster with the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtail.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. Third quarter, getting ready to start here at Memorial Gym. 40 20 year score. Hazard will have the basketball at Prairie Central. We'll go on defense first, Manus. And I thought Prairie should have got the basketball. Now they are going to have the basketball. I think they were trying to steal it. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> With that smart, that smart. I, I would, wouldn't you? Uh, uh, you're exactly right. 40 20, we're underway from Hazard. Third quarter. Let's see what Purry Central continues to do on this end as they go back door, Nice to McLawrence. Good ball movement by the Commodore. Trying to get the ball, the ball to Cornet, and it's blocked by Caudill, rebound by Ramey, and she throws it away back to Cornet. Hazard trying to pass over top instead of the bounce pass tonight, and they've lost it some there. And it's going to be a turnover. Not enough court balance that time inside there by the uh, Lady Commodores. But once again, very, very unselfish. Almost stole them a niece. Average backtracking with a dribble, and she dribbles it off the sideline as a uh, couch kept right on pressing her more and more. You know, Hazard tonight in their offensive set, it seemed like they're taking that extra dribble. Minus. They're, they're not moving the ball like they, we seen them do earlier. Well, there was a spot there where Bentley was taking it uh, north-south more than the east-west, so right. you, you got to take it going downhill. Right. And Bentley knocks it away, and it will be underneath for the Lady Commodores. Commodore's trying to inbound the ball, and Nice will get the open look. And knocks it down. That's a big shot. They get their largest lead of the ball game at 23. Give Nice nine as Bentley goes in there and misses the bunny. Hannah Cottle goes up and scores. Finally. But that was due to Bentley beating her person off the dribble and allowing the offensive rebound by Cottle. Yep, good drive for, by her, and here comes the Commodores. Nice goes up. It's a, Partially deflected. Bentley looks up, gives it to Cottle. Cottle dribbles in, and it is blocked. Oh, uh, Cornet comes down a little bit. Uh, Cornet, uh, nice hustle by her to get down there to uh, let Cottle earn her two points on the exactly line. Exactly right. As Cottle will shoot two, and you're exactly right. She could have just let her go in there and lay it in, but she sprinted the floor to keep it from happening, and it, it saved them one point here. Absolutely. Second free throw is also no good. And uh, Bentley. Yep. 
was wanting the foul and uh, did not get the foul. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to. Very animated. Yeah. She uh, put actions into that. So uh, Hazard trying to speed him up a little bit with 84-foot pressure. Meese with a pick and roll with Cornet. Gets it out to Couch. Couch with a three. No good. Rebound by Mac Lawrence. Blocked by Bentley. Got a two against two here with the front apple. She takes it, goes in, and uh, ball was hit, and looks like Hazard will get it back. Oh, I was blocked by the uh, camera <laughs> that time. He throws it out to Bentley as it goes back to front apple in the corner. Bentley with the fake goes up, lays it in. Give Bentley eight as she picks up uh, McAlarnitz so uh, deep. McAlarnitz takes it up, and it's going to be two shots for McAlarnitz, and it's going to be. Uh, and that's going to be Caudill's second as McAlarnitz will go to, to the line for two. 43-24 with 5.46 to go. A little bit long. Other than uh, Nice's 20-footer, really Commodore's a little stagnant now on offense. Yep. And makes a second. And you got to understand, uh, they have – Made most of their points from the interior. Yes, they in have. In the paint. As average goes up and knocks it down. Average very aggressive tonight, uh, getting the basketball and looking at the rim and going that way. And, you know, she's the scorer. She averages 15 points a game, and she has to score. And, and for the Lady Bulldogs to get back into the basketball game. Nice to Cornet. Cornet up with a shot and misses it. And Ramey with a rebound. Kicks it out. Nobody's there. And it's going to be uh, it's going to be white basketball. Good effort by both kids there, working extremely hard going out of the basketball. Average with a spin, up with a shot, and there, knocks it down again. Average Give her double figures. Get a little rhythm going. That gives her double figures at ten, and you're exactly right, David Adams. Michael Lawrence with a left hand, and I believe it's this goal down here, David. It may be because now. The Commodore seemed to have a hard time getting it Bentley going. up, and she's going to be fouled by Cheyenne Couch. And can cut this lead to 14, where it was at 23 just a minute and three seconds ago. Right. And I'm sure that's what Coach Howard talked to him about, just gradually working it down, gradually yeah. working it down, as Bentley will shoot two. And it goes in. Gets the old-fashioned row. Gets the shooter's touch. Gets the Earl Stevens touch from Breathitt County. <laughs> Earl, a uh, fine ball player back in his day for the Bobcats, setting over from us. And uh, give uh, Bentley double figures with 10. And say hello to Coach Honeycutt down in Breathitt County, by the way. Down at no, he's Watts. watching. Down at Watts or uh, Quicksand or wherever he may be down there right now. Nice kick out to Taylor Couch with a three and missed it. Rebound by Nice. Taylor got a good look in this left corner. She had her feet set. Nice fall through. Just a little hard. Once again, set up by uh, Emily Nice. Yeah. Call by Coach McAlarnitz to get them into something here, and we'll see what they're going to run. And uh, Bentley uh, yep. tried. A little too much arm on that steel try there. And... Uh, Lady Bulldogs got to do a few of those things, though. They've yeah, got to they take do. a few chances. And they as do. you said, it's down to 14 now. So, yeah. Let's see if they can get it under 10 here in the next four minutes going into the fourth quarter. From Apple, good help that time as McElarnes was going around the screen and make the drive. Deep shot miss. Rebound by Caudle. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it's definitely the basket. You think so? <laughs> we'll have to talk to AD. Uh, Browning. And Eddie see Browning. A, see if he got any analytics on that. As Bentley shoots the deep three, hits the side of the backboard, rebound by Cornet. And the rebound, is, uh, and it's going to be a block. Yeah. That block's going to be on the average. Yeah. That's her third foul. Um, 
Got there late and went down into the block call. And we're going to have a timeout as well here at Memorial Gym. It's 44 to 30, Commodores with a 14 point lead. We'll be back. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Welcome back. 44-30 year score here at third quarter at Memorial Gym. And uh, to be honest with you, Hazard's starting to hit a few shots now. And the Commodore's not being able to find the bucket. As you said earlier, Average has started to find her way now. And when you have Bentley and Average, and if you can get Front Apple going a little bit here, they can get back into the basketball game. Just got to have stops on the defensive end, and they've had stops on the defensive end. So, interested to see what happens the next 3, 30, uh, three, <laughs> three minutes and 37 seconds going into the fourth quarter. Absolutely, and uh, referee Benny Camel will get ready to hand the balls to and ball I, to Nice, and we're ready to go, Manus. Got the double staggered screen for McElhorn. Could not open up to it. Kicks it back out here and as we set it up here for the uh, Lady Commodores. Nice with a pump fake, goes in, and she is going to be fouled. Yeah, left hand down. protected the ball with the left hand with the drive in the paint and uh, did it textbook to get a go to the line for two. A very good free throw shooter as well for the Commodores. As Bentley had her pin, but comes down with her hand, and usually the referees uh, will call that contact. Yep, yeah, we jinx her. 99.8% of the time. Second one up, and missed it as well. As Addington gets the rebound. Yeah, it's not like her. She normally hits net on those free throws. And it's going to be a turnover for the Lady Bulldogs. Coach Hard come out with a tie and all, and he got rid of that in a – in a hurry. <laughs> Here goes uh, Mac Lawrence with a left hand dribble, three against two, and went in the crowd. You're not going to get it very often going in the crowd. Had a teammate in a corner, just didn't see her. As Bentley goes up, and it missed. Rebound by Caudle, and she got fouled. Caudle's playing better in the second half. First half, I thought she's a little timid. and. Uh, wasn't going into the man, dodging the foul, but this this high, she's been more aggressive. Cottle will shoot two. And rolls it in. As Cornick comes in for Anderson. And Cottle will shoot a second one here. She is three of five so far in the game. Make that four of six. Hazard once again picking up 84 feet. Yep, and we're on a three-minute mark, third quarter, and uh, we said at the start of this half, Hazard had to make a run and get that lead down, and they're they're getting close to that 10 point starting the fourth if they can make a few more plays, man, this year. And that's Cottle's third foul. Nice uh, inbounds uh, play. McElarnitz with two shots, and she makes the first of two. Excellent follow through there. And uh, Bulldog's going to give Cottle a break, and she's played well when she came back this third quarter. And uh, four of five, make that uh, five of six for McElarnitz. And give her, uh, that gives her seven for tonight. On Apple with it, blocked by McElhern, it's out of bounds. Thought she shot it off balance and really drove to a part of the floor where she could go no further. If you're not down on the floor, you don't understand how long that McElhern is with her arms. So, good matchup, tough matchup for Front Apple. Eddington throw, nope, I thought it was thrown away, but Front Apple up and it goes in. Gets the roll and Number four. Yep. 
Down to 12, David Adams. Yeah, we said if they could cut it to 10 and uh, go into the fourth quarter, they'd have a shot at least. And they have not given up. The Lady Bulldogs have fought through and, and uh, reduced it down, and let's see what goes on for the rest of the two minutes before fourth quarter. McLaurin's takes it off the dribble. Nice help. Oh. Throws it away. Front apple with a two against one. And she loses it. Yeah, it went too deep, Manus, and really uh, wasn't strong with the ball that time. Chicks and, and, and Ramey steals it. So now we have a three against three. A little bit of a scramble match here. Addington with the one dribble. Kicks it out to Bentley. Bentley says, let's set something up here. Front apple, it's knocked away. Ramey goes to the floor, stolen. Feltner goes in, and she's going to be fouled by Bentley. Yeah, she's going to get two, and Prime Apple just not being strong with the ball up at this end, so she's got to be stronger with that to contain that ball. Good defense by the Commodores that time. Feltner will uh, shoot two as we've got subs that will be ready to come in. All net on the first one. 47-34. Leads at 13 with a minute 30 third quarter. Second one goes up, and it also is good. And she will go out, and uh, Taylor Couch will come in for. Hurry Central picking up man-to-man. -man. Forty-eight, thirty-four, average. A lot of them doubling down, David. As yes, Eddington's they are. In the middle of the lane, goes up, misses it. Nice with a rebound. Got a good look that time, Lady Dogs. Did. Taylor Couch with a three and misses it long. Ramey with a rebound. But that's Taylor's shot. That that twenty footer's her shot on that wing. Average, nice move off that's the board and good. Nice spin move and uses the board well, and we're under a minute, 36-48. The lead's at 12, and uh, let's see if the Commodores want to shoot just one time here in this remaining time. As soon as time. you said that, David, she called one, yep. Coach McElhorn said. Oh, you got a 12-point lead. Try to make it 14 or keep it at 12 at least. And Nice goes right down the middle with the left hand and scores. Yep, lead's 14 now. And here comes the Bulldogs. And nice move by Front nice Apple, and she lays it in. 38-50, leads at 12. And here goes Nice again, and it's going to be and one. 52-38, leads back at 14, and uh, Nice will have an opportunity. The old-fashioned three-point play. And Bentley will pick up her fourth foul. Nice will be at the line to shoot. It takes a lot of energy, David Adams, to come from behind, being down 20 at half. Yes, it does. You get back in, you got to get back in, you got to play extremely hard defense, and you got to win the loose ball battle as well. As Nice converts the three point play. Ten seconds. And there'll be a turnover as yeah. Average pivots and goes back into the backcourt. So 6.6 .6 now. You've got time to get a shot. Let's see what Nice does. She drives. And, and she loses she it. Lost Front it. Apple yeah. looks up, knows how much time, and Dixon comes from behind and steals it. Yep, and we played three at Memorial Gym. Perry County Central 53, Hazard 38. We'll take a break and be right back. Stay with us. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. 
With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. Fourth quarter coming up from Memorial Gym, 53-38, and uh, the Bulldogs will have the basketball to start fourth quarter. And now, how so crucial is it for turnovers and you must score because, you know. Multiple stops, David. Yeah, yeah. And almost throws away and is thrown away as Couch steals it, goes up and misses it. Ramey with a rebound. But you're exactly right, David. You've got to have stops here and you got to score. Average with a three from the kick out, and that's what I'm talking yeah, about. That's a big one right there. Average hits the 20 footer and uh, cuts the lead to 12. Give her 15 so far. Coach Hired wanting them to get up on them. Uh, more ball pressure as Nice goes. Kick out to Couch. Couch with a three, misses it. Rebound by Eddington. Couch got a good look. Average takes it up with a shot and misses it. Rebound by Eddington, who's had some good minutes coming off the bench, and that's going to be a tie-up, and it will go to the Lady Commodores. Bulldogs in this ball game, especially the second so highest I, I've noticed in this second highest, maybe it's more than anything that there's they're soft with the basketball when you get in the crowd. And I, you know, that's and, youth. And that's that's youth. youth. Exactly yeah. right, David Adams. As Mac Lawrence goes up and banks it. Nice touch there, the six footer off the glass. And from Apple will throw it away as her teammate Ramey just could not get open. Just before we come out, I looked at a lot of girls putting their hands on their hips and, uh, you know, a sign of being tired. And, yeah. and that goes back to the strategy of Coach McLawrence, who's played her almost her whole bench, well, try to wear them down. You know, the kids have been off. Even though they've been playing games, they've still had some days off oh, yeah. because of the holidays. And, you know. Exactly right. As Bentley comes into the basketball game, drives it to the goal, misses it. R strong rebound, I thought, by Caudill. Bentley will save it in the corner, goes up with a shot, and hits it. Yep, 15-footer, and Bentley rings the bell there. 55-43 leads back to 12 for Perry Central. Give Bentley 12 for the game. Nice with a kick out to Dixon. Dixon misses it. And Average steals it from McLaurin's who had gotten the offensive rebound. Average trying to go in between people and will lose it. Two on one, Dixon and Nice. And she will pull up and she is going to call, be called for steps. Nice defensive play by Dixon, but couldn't stop. Probably need one more dribble before she went up. Got to come with a strong jump stop on that one. Absolutely. And Hazard still down by 12 with six minutes to go. And uh, the official said that on the crossover it was deflected. Yeah, Hazard's come up on 1 4 now, and here's the ball being thrown out, and Bentley's going to take it. Bentley spin up, and it goes in, and it counts the basket. Nice play there, and uh, Bentley uh, cuts the lead to 10 with 5.58 to go, and we'll have a chance to old-fashioned uh, three-point play. And, David, you look, and it's 10 points, and it could be under 10 with this first free throw, and it is good. We have a ball game, David. Yes, we do, and uh, look for the Commodores to get settled down here. They have been shooting quick and not playing the Commodore game that they played in the first half. And it's a turnover. Bentley with the basketball. Bentley veers out. Crossover dribble goes up and hits it. I don't know how she made that one, but she did. The margin of error was very small, yeah. but it went down. Seven is the lead now for Perry. And screen, nice screen by Couch as McElarnett slays it in. That was a nice move by McElarnett. She's... Uh, 
outstanding player, uses the board well. We're going to have 30 second timeout. We'll just leave it here for that one then. 48 to 57. Not many other games in the area tonight, but we will have one more ball game after this one as we will have the uh, boys game coming up. Hazard and uh, Prairie Central right after this. And uh, I'm glad we got David Ritchie in the house tonight from Jackson, Kentucky. Yeah, he's keeping yeah. people over here uh, from bumping me except for Harold yeah. Bashir. Absolutely glad to have him <laughs> along. One of a, he always watches Hometown 24. Shout out to Russ Farmer over in. Uh, we got a, absolutely Russ, a big basketball fan and always glad to see him. Leslie County Finest. I'm telling you. Over with Scotty Bowling. Yeah, Scotty, uh, hard worker yourself. As we go back to play, David, uh, Bentley has come off after picking up that fourth and has scored seven points in the fourth as she goes down and misses it. Rebound by Edmonton. She goes up and puts it in. Nice rebound there and uses the board well to cut the lead to seven. Eddington has played an important part in this comeback as McAlarence shoots the three and knocks it down. Big shot by McAlarence. Ten, ten point lead with 4.57. Big time shot there. It's, she's got seven in the fourth quarter. Average goes up, misses it, and it will stay underneath. As Front Apple will come back in the basketball game for Ramey. I thought Ramey come in and did a nice Defense job. Defense scrappiness. She, yeah, she got uh, three rebounds there, and she also made some good passes. Caught her with a move, misses it. I like the move. She just didn't go stronger up. May have East been a with a heavy hesitation and misses the left hand, gets her own rebound. I believe I misspoke there, David, just a little bit. Ah, that happens. <laughs> As McLaren's strong dribble, gets the ball inside. She's got to put it up, and it's going to be a Come jump on, basketball. Probably shouldn't have put that down on the floor, to be honest with you. It probably should have been passed over in the corner. She had a teammate there. Anytime decision. you have to dribble in the paint, yep. you're asking for trouble against a good ball team. We've said little guys like us steal it. As uh, Bentley yeah. loses the basketball, Nice is up front up. Oh, and the left hand Euro nice. shot. Makes the play. Leads back at 12, four minutes. Give her 16, nice pass. Very nice play from Apple with a very nice pass. And Eddington lays it in, give her four. Uh, Lawrence with a strong left-hand dribble, sets it up long, deep three, misses it. I don't it. know about that one. She was off balance. She's a good shooter when she gets balance. And that's tried to put it behind her back, uh, and that's going to be a walk. <laughs> Coach Rainey. Howard, I don't know if Coach Howard wanted that. You know, well, we're going to take a timeout. 3.33 to go in the ball game. 62-52, Commodores leading by 10. We'll be back. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 62-52, Commodores by 10, and really and truly, every time the Bulldogs could cut it to seven or eight, Commodores hit a shot. And it's the two players I mentioned that hadn't scored as much in the first half, Nice and McAlarns. So you would expect them to take, take the scoring over if need be, and their team needs it. And it will be the Lady Commodores basketball. And Hazard, look for a run out here, David. Yeah, they're they're setting it up as Couch goes long, but Mackie Lawrence is going to have the ball in her hand, you can bet, when this game gets down close, her and Nice. And Couch with a deep three and knocks it down. Couch got set that time, and she plays a little string music in Hazard with that 22-footer. 
And that give her eight for the game. Now that's where nice. if you turn your body from an apple, turn and your body. And that's going to be in one. And you know, she turned her body. Man, it's when she turned it in outside like that, it left the defense opportunity to get the basketball. Bentley will come back in and from apple. We'll take a break. She's played well at spots tonight. Just needs to keep her head up and keep going. As Couch shoots the and makes it, and that gives her double figure. She has 11. That's big. That was a big play in this game. Yep. Right there. And she is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pesky, a pest, and I mean that in a good in a good way. What, uh, is she uh, aggravates whoever has the basketball. She does. Average nice left-hand jumper. And that's going to be a double dribble, so it's going to be a turnover on the Lady Commodores. Yep. Leads at 14. Hazard needs to take advantage of every time they have the basketball now with the time remaining. Yeah, they've got to have a basket every time, and they got to stop them on this. Average has 17. Call with a kick out to Bentley. Bentley from way downtown, a little short. And the rebound will go off Cornet and will remain with the Lady Bulldogs underneath. I've seen Bentley hit that shot before. Oh, yeah, I they, have too. Yeah. She's not a bad shooter out there. She can hit that 22, 23-footer. And, you know, with a deficit right now, a three-pointer would be uh, ideal. Trying to get someone to come to the high post that wasn't there. Ramey tried to force it in, and Cornet was with the steal. Cornet, a nice play there as uh, reached over with the correct hand to knock that ball loose as McElarns will direct traffic. There was someone behind her and somebody in front of her. It's hard to get it in there. As Couch will shoot another three, misses it. Rebound by Caudill. Knocked away, and Nice will go in and lay it in off the board. And that probably put the point on the game, to be yep. on the way you Lose said. Lose it out to 16. Yeah, yep. it does. And, and another turnover. As McLawrence goes up, and it was deflected out of bounds. Returning from the from Apple. Apple coming back. And Eddington goes out, and she's played a uh, well of a game. Yeah, coming off she's the played bench. tough in the paint tonight, as, as she has. Let's see if they milk the clock or not. Two-man game on this. Yep, and the ball's knocked loose, and Average comes down with a rebound. Stuff going on. <laughs> Bach, front apple is fouled. Yeah, it looks like Nice may get this. No, yeah, a little bit too much arm that time, and that'll be Nice's first. And she's a smart player. You don't see her get in any foul trouble very often in the game because uh, very smart Nice the way she plays the game. Yep, and neither team is close to the double bonus yet with 57 seconds to no, go. No, they are not. Isolation of Cottle on the block. Average with a spin and she loses it. Thought she had two on her, should have given it from Apple for the jumper from 18 feet out that time. Manus, our player of the game, who who you think we need to go with tonight? Uh, I'm not really sure, David. Looks like Taylor Couch would get the foul there. I mean, there were so many. Commodores. And I think uh, we have uh, contact during the uh, play, after the play, and I believe it was called on. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a technical foul on. Uh, um, I'm, I'm believing we'll have to see here. I was looking. Personal foul on the Lady Commodores, number three. That is Couch, her third. Technical on number 13, White. And Bentley's going to get the T. So that'll be her fifth foul, so yeah. she'll be disqualified. Technical yeah. Technical fifth foul. Yep. So uh, they will shoot. Uh, will Bentley shots. will get to still shoot her shots because she was fouled before she got. Yep. 
That was a uh, chance of the foul. First. She has 15, give her 16 for the game. Had a good ball game, played hard, and uh, let emotions got in the way there a little bit. Looks like Maca Lawrence will come out. David, again. it's hard for me not to vote against Emily Neese for the Emily play. Emily Neese will be her Al Floyd College Player of the Game, and we'll try to interview her. Uh, we'll call her right up here, and she can stand here, and we'll talk to her right at the game. Emily, Emily. And we'll get her, and Maca Lawrence will hit that. Because she has, she involved everybody in the basketball game, got everybody off to a good start, yeah. and then scored points in the second half when when they were needed. Absolutely. Hard to go against Mac Lawrence or her niece in this situation. And now that's a good pass. You thought Couch would shoot that, but decided not to. 21 seconds to go. I believe they put it in the cooler. They have. It's 72.55. But, you know, I thought Hazard played better basketball second. Uh, the second half. Oh, they, yeah. They, I did, they, 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 they never quit. Yeah, they, they cut it quit. to seven. They wouldn't expect them to. Yeah, they cut it to seven, and uh, they'll learn from this, and Commodores will get the big win at 72.55. And and score, and 72 and a nice Hazard game, minus for uh, the Commodores as they uh, get a big win here at Memorial Gym. And uh, anytime you Pick up a district win, it's more than worth it. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with our Alice Lloyd College player of the game, Emily Neese. So stay with us here on Hometown 24. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. All right. All right. Welcome back to Memorial Gym. Miss Emily Neese is our Alice Lloyd College player of the game. And Emily, I thought y'all started out shooting the ball extremely well at the start of the game tonight. Yeah, uh, we... Uh Last time we played Hazard, uh, it didn't go the way we wanted, so we wanted to come out with a lot of intensity. And, you know, we know we had to make our shots to win this game. Well, I thought uh, you all had good ball movement tonight. I, at one point, you had uh, eight or nine assists in the first half along. I thought you all shared the ball well tonight. Yeah, we just tried to make the right passes and uh, get the good shots. Well, looking at Hazard in the second half, I thought they come back and played harder and hit some shots, but I thought y'all, it's momentum, you brought it back, you played well together, and I was very impressed with the team effort y'all had tonight, Emily. Yeah, we knew coming out in the second half they were gonna bring a lot of intensity, uh, it's a big rivalry, and uh, we knew we just had to hang tough and handle the handle adversity. Uh, looking at the schedule, you know, as we get in January, you, you look ahead in the district and regional tournaments, not going to be long off, and uh, looks like you are well on your way to play in that, a team effort the way you all want to be. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're wanting to win district this year, you know. It's our, it's our goal, and then to win region, and, you know, we have to play team ball, and I think that's how uh, we look best. You know, seem like every time we, we carry the Commodores, we always get to talk to Emily Neese. I don't know what that is, but we do. But I want to congratulate you. You've got the Commodores playing well, and you're doing the right things right now. Thank you. Emily Neese, our Al Floyd College player of the game, and we'll take a break and be back to Hazard right after this. Stay with us. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of homeownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I just want to watch the game. Did that turn on the ceiling fan? 
Use the gray remote. Hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. Some may see you as victims, and no doubt you have lost much and endured even more. But we at KRCC see you as the strong and resilient survivors that you are, and our team stands ready side by side with you as you rebuild your lives and we help rebuild the communities that we all hold so dear. If you need our help, please call KRCC at 1-800-262-7491 or stop by any KRCC location and ask for help. KRCC cares. When it comes to your family's health care, making the right connection is easy with just a call, click, or visit to one of Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation's clinics serving Eastern Kentucky and Southwest Virginia. Our providers cover the full spectrum of medicine for the whole family, as well as specialty and support services, such as pulmonary, optometry, dentistry, and podiatry, plus on-site labs, x-rays, nutritionist, and more. Call today for an appointment or telehealth visit. Now accepting Virginia Medicaid. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation. A lot has changed in a hundred years. We've gone from the Model T to the electric car, from silent film to home theaters, and from the telegram to the iPhone. And through it all, People's Bank and Trust of Hazard has been there for local people. From paper checks to debit cards, from wire transfers to online banking, People's Bank has maintained a tradition of service while embracing the future for your financial needs. Celebrating a century of service to the mountains, People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. This is the fourth app. I don't remember any of these passwords. With so many subscriptions, it can be impossible to keep up. Who said that? Don't worry about who I am. Worry about all the money you're losing paying for all these subscriptions. I have to use like 13 to watch all the shows I want to watch. Then sign up for TVS. With TVS, you have all your favorite shows with just one bill. So stop throwing away money and throw away those subscriptions. Magellan, what should we do with all this money we save by switching to TVS? Tis the season to tech the halls. And Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable. This deal continues through Christmas Eve. Get an iPhone 13 for a penny with trade-in. I think an elf just passed out. I'm okay. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. With a trade-in on a two-year contract with a mix and match or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. Teching the halls has never been so easy. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Visit AppalachianWireless.com for trade-in and credit requirements. Terms and conditions apply.
I'm 85, getting ready to go into year 2022, 20, 23. So uh, my count runs at about 37 years. That's a long time. Here goes Knight, and a three, Woods, yes! The fire still burns. I enjoy going out to the gym. Uh, I enjoy the kids. I've got to a point now where I have seen kids play today. I saw their dad, in some cases, even their grandfather. So, uh, you know, you kind of you kind of get used to them hollering at you, and I like that. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtail.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. 
At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I just want to watch the game. Did that turn on the ceiling fan? Use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. Some may see you as victims. And no doubt you have lost much and endured even more. But we at KRCC see you as the strong and resilient survivors that you are. And our team stands ready side by side with you as you rebuild your lives and we help rebuild the communities that we all hold so dear. If you need our help, please call KRCC at 1-800-262-7491 or stop by any KRCC location and ask for help. KRCC Cares. When it comes to your family's health care, making the right connection is easy with just a call, click, or visit to one of Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation's clinics serving Eastern Kentucky and Southwest Virginia. Our providers cover the full spectrum of medicine for the whole family, as well as specialty and support services, such as pulmonary, optometry, dentistry, and podiatry, plus on-site labs, x-rays, nutritionist, and more. Call today for an appointment or telehealth visit. Now accepting Virginia Medicaid. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation. A lot has changed in a hundred years. We've gone from the Model T to the electric car, from silent film to home theaters, and from the telegram to the iPhone. And through it all, People's Bank and Trust of Hazard has been there for local people. From paper checks to debit cards, from wire transfers to online banking, People's Bank has maintained a tradition of service while embracing the future for your financial needs. Celebrating a century of service to the mountains, People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. This is the fourth app. I don't remember any of these passwords. With so many subscriptions, it can be impossible to keep up. Who said that? Don't worry about who I am. Worry about all the money you're losing paying for all these subscriptions. I have to use like 13 to watch all the shows I want to watch. Then sign up for TVS. With TVS, you have all your favorite shows with just one bill. So stop throwing away money and throw away those subscriptions. Magellan, what should we do with all this money we save by switching to TVS? 
is the season to tech the halls. And Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable. This deal continues through Christmas Eve. Get an iPhone 13 for a penny with trade-in. I think an elf just passed out. I'm okay. One penny for an iPhone 13 128 gig with a trade-in on a two-year contract with a mix and match or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. Teching the halls has never been so easy. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Visit AppalachianWireless.com for trade-in and credit requirements. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back to Memorial Gym here at Hazard, getting ready for the second game. In her first game, it was the Lady Commodores with a big win over the Lady Hazard Bulldogs. And Manus, boys turn next, and I'm looking forward to this, and both of these teams are playing extremely well right now. Yeah, both of them's come off Christmas tournaments, and uh, the Hazard Bulldogs, of course, uh, play down in uh, Tennessee. Of course, Perry County Central beat a Dobbins Bennett team uh, during the Christmas break. And anytime you can beat a Dobbins Bennett team, you, that's a feather in your hat. Uh, they've kind of lost uh, some of these games as they go there in a five game losing streak. So, you know, uh, how will they come out or how they come out of, you know, the uh, Christmas break as we were talking with the girls, tells a whole lot about, you know, get a little rest, you know, get settled down, get back into school, get in that regular routine and, and same way with the Hazard Bulldogs, you know, a lot of people say, you know, that routine means a whole lot. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we, we've yet to have that snow come in to play a part. And, and we will have that come in to play a part sometime in January. But one of the things since the 2020 season is uh, Hazard's got a 7-4 lead on the Perry County Central Commodores. And uh, Nip Tuck. Expect come down to the last possession, come down to making free throws, handling the basketball, stopping the basketball, not giving up easy turnovers that lead to basket. So really look forward to it. My first time calling a Purry Central Hazard basketball game, uh, girls and boys. I was really excited about doing the girls, and I'm really excited about doing the uh, boys as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh both these programs are two of the top programs in their region. Right now, if you had to rank four teams in their region, two of them is playing here tonight. And, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be a hard-fought game. It's going to be a physical game. It normally is. And it wouldn't shock me if Coach uh, Hoskins tries to make this a 84-foot game and Coach Holland tries to make it half of that. So, uh you know, so it could uh, very easily turn out to be that. But now, you've got to give Coach uh, Hoskins a lot of credit. He uh, he usually has his team playing extremely well by this time of the year, and they are. And Coach Holland's team started out the year playing well as well. These two teams are way ahead of form, I think. Well, Hazard you especially know. is way ahead of where most people thought they would be. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the RPI, which a lot of people don't take into account the RPI, but uh, the RPI going into the Knights game has Hazard listed as number one in yeah. the region. And, of course, uh, a, lot of, a lot of pundits and all the people talk about the RPI, but they got Purry Central filth. And, you know, you can't win a regional tournament unless it comes through Hazard. Yeah. You know, a Hazard in Purry County, it, it just the history tells you that it has to come through here if you want to win a 14th region boys basketball title. And sometimes you have to beat both of them to get out. <laughs> yeah, you, you're a lot of times, and it's tough. And and how many years has it been that Hazard and Perry Central has faced each other four times to, and, to decide who goes to Rupp Arena? And by the way, the regional boys tournament this year is at Powell County. Yep. The last time that regional tournament was played down there was between the Bulldogs and Commodores. So it 
It should uh, be exciting night, and we're glad you're with us here on Hometown 24. We'll take a quick break. We'll have starting lineups, tip-off, coming up on Hometown 24. Stay with us. Just about a minute away for the starting lineups as both teams will start to begin to their bench uh, to huddle around their head coach to get the last word. Coach Al Holland will have the Hazard Bulldogs and Coach Holland very familiar with Perry County Central as he led them to the state tournament sometimes and <laughs> not too long ago, uh, by the way, cause uh, Coach Holland uh, used to play at MC Napier and uh, for the Navajos, and uh, he a uh, very knowledgeable basketball man. Coach Shannon Hoskin also uh, very knowledgeable. He was on the Georgetown team that uh, <laughs> was special, special under Happy Osborne, and uh, this is just a night. This is going to be a great basketball game, and you can just feel it in the air as the fans. We have a nice crowd here at Memorial Gym, a lot of Perry County Central fans, and we have a lot of Hazard Bulldog fans as well as normal. So it's going to be a good atmosphere for these kids and uh, really looking forward to this basketball game, Manus. Yeah, and you know, David, uh, when it comes right down to it, it's going to come down to the last position. Who makes the free throws? Yeah, absolutely. Who makes that deep? three in the corner as the horn goes off. Right. So that's what I'm expecting tonight. Absolutely, and it looks like we're ready for the starts and line up. So minus, we're ready for you to take it away, my friend. And of course, with the visitors on the scoreboard will be the Perry County Central Commodores, seven and six on the season. Of course, coached by Mr. Shannon Hoskins and with uh, those people, and maybe they won't turn the lights off on us this time. I, I, but I'll be ready. <laughs> I'll get the light ready. <laughs> yeah. But first, for the Commodores, senior forward, number four, Kaiser Sloan. Number 10, junior guard, Ridge Beverly. At guard, a junior, number 11. Number 11, Woods. junior guard, Trayton Woods. At forward, a junior, number one. Number Carter one, junior Castle. forward, Carter Castle. And, guard, and junior, lastly, number 13, number 13 Tyson, junior guard, Tyson Neese. And once again, the Perry County Central Commodores are coached by Shannon Hoskins. And now for your Hazard Bulldogs, who are 12 and one on the season. Coached by Mr. Al Holland. And David, they, they've thrown us a loop. <laughs> no, number five, <laughs> number five, junior forward, Evan Sean Everso. Number 13, sophomore guard, Seth Cottle. Cottle, very quick, got good height, can go left or right, very good player. Number 40, junior center, Kenyon Higgins. Number two, sophomore guard, Dalton Combs. And last but not least, number 20, sophomore guard, Caden Ramey. And once again, the Bulldogs are coached by Mr. Al Holland. Mr. Roger Fairchild. Fairchild, Cecil, and Mr. Brian Johnson. And Johnson. And Mr. Johnson. Well, so, the officials. Uh, and uh, Perry County Central dressed in uh, their uh, new gray uniforms, and I really like them. Yeah, I and, think uh, so. And, uh, of course, Yes, it is. As uh, the Bulldogs make it out on the floor. You know, you look at those, and uh, uh, attention was called that uh, that's the colors of the Napier Navajos. 
And it is. Saw Simmons. many a game right yeah. here between yeah. MC Napier and yeah. uh, as Eversoll and Sloan will step in yep. as Old Buddy. official Johnson throws it up and Bulldogs basketball. Old buddy Dave Dixon says, let's play a little more round ball. Marty Mullins in Lexington, Kentucky. How you doing, big guy? Ramey takes it in, stolen by Castle. Good hands by the Commodores. Hazard coming out in the man with pressure, and uh, you see Commodores, they really like spread and leave the middle open, Manus. Motion offense. Castle goes to the post as Nice dribbles to the baseline, gives it back to Beverly. Bulldogs staying in between their bo the ball and the, and the go with uh, Beverly with the three, and it's short. Rebound yeah. by Cottle. I don't know if that got set good on his hand. Seemed like it come off early. And as you said, the uh, Hazard Bulldogs will come with their uh, sets and will be methodical in running those. Sloan and Everso is the matchup. And Cone from way downtown and knocks down the three. Nice jumper by him, the 20 footer. Playing off of him, David. Yep. Woods wanted to release that, but you can't they play that. off of him. No. And uh, Kaiser with a uh, short. Ramey with a rebound. Doesn't have the odds. Turns it back out, and it's stolen. No. Higgins goes down to the floor, and it's going to be a jump ball. Nice hustle by Higgins. Jump ball. Possession will go to the and it will go to uh, Purry Central. An early Trace. sub as uh, Ramey comes out and Kincaid comes in for him. Yeah. Uh, little big key. Nasal pass there, yeah. Coach Holland. You got to be strong that with out. that basketball, David. Absolutely. Harrison Bailey, how are you doing tonight, my friend? Good to have you along. And also, former coach of the Tilts Combs Panthers, Earl, Earl Combs. Combs. Glad to have him along as well. Nice pump fake by Woods. Woods with the jumper, got it. Nice touch, eight footer. Put some uh, air on the basketball and hit a nice shot. And as you said, 84 foot pressure by the Commodores. Yes, they do. That's their style and Coach Hoskins lets them play it. Kincaid with a three. Kincaid shoots the lights out from 22 here at Hazard. 6-2 with 5.42 to go, and the hand check's going to be called. And that's going to be on Combs. On hazard number two, Dalton Combs, his first. Dalton playing it's a little the physical first. there, and uh, you, that's the way both these teams play. Oh, yeah, and you saw the Commodores doubled ever so to give up the ball, and he did give up the basketball to Kincaid. Kincaid was ready and knocked down the three. Castle's trying to find someone to come do it. Kaiser Sloan. Yeah, Castle wanted to do the back pass there, but nobody cut. Nice matchup between Sloan and Everso as Beverly kicks it back out to Sloan for the three. A little bit short. Offensive rebound to Woods. That's Sloan's shot when he gets set and open the straight away. 1 4 goes the offensive set. Good ball movement. Kincaid overplaying the passing lane. Woods missed it. I Coach did. Hoskins said shoot the basketball. Yep. And uh, Woods, you don't leave him open many times that he did not stick the three. Woods shoots extremely well from the three-point line. Very well. Caldo with a fake, jumps up, jumper, got it. Made it look easy, and uh, Coach Hoskins going to take a timeout. This is a 30, and we'll just keep it here. And really, Hazard getting good looks, and they're driving in with their height. Caldo with that height advantage there at that position and gets the bucket. And Shot it over Beverly. Yeah. He, he just uh, rose above him and just released it, had perfect rotation on it. And that's his shot, a 15-foot jump shot yeah. like that with his, yeah. like you said, his athleticism and his ability to jump, he just can rise over the top. Yeah. Surprisingly so far, 8-2, ever so yeah. is yet to score. 
Yeah. Uh, you can see that the Commodore's intention is not to let him get the basketball inside yeah. and uh, double him if he gets the ball out front. Yeah, absolutely. 8-2, 4-32 is Sloan. We'll work it up against Everso. Castle wasn't ready for it, and it goes out of bounds. Turnover to the Commodores. Got to focus. Big game, you got to play. I think he's looking to set a down screen, uh, David, as Everso works it up. Double team to give it up. There's Kincaid again, who knocked down that th open three earlier. Kincaid has come right in, and they felt his presence with the big jumper out in the floor. Higgins up and good. Worked it and, and put it in. Until he keeps improving as the coaching staff will put time in with him because he's got the size. Yes, and as uh, long as he doesn't get in foul trouble, and that's one of the things he's prone to do. As Castle goes in, uh, look for the contact and nothing called. Got to hit that. Castle's got to take advantage of that. Point blank range as Caudle goes up, steps through, goes up with it, touch and goes in. Commodores are shooting the lights out early here in Hazard. Got a 10 point lead with 323 to go and Commodores not really hitting anything, Manus. I've got to find someone to, to put it in. They got to convert inside and they go to Castle. Castle with a bump and goes up, misses it. Battle for the rebound and Higgins pulls it down. Big rebound, and uh, Higgins is limiting the Commodores to one shot there in the paint. Eversall up with a shot, a little short. Beverly up with the basketball. Nice wanted the basketball. He didn't see him. Kick to Woods. Woods with a pump fake. Caudill stays down. Kaiser Sloan takes it to the goal. Uh, Kaiser lost. loses control yeah, he, of it, David. And just got to be strong with the ball. You know, you got to be strong with the basketball. And, you know, it's a slow whistle tonight, which means you you're, there's going to be contact. So you got to play through the contact. Caudill goes through, up and there he scores his sixth point. David. That's a full timeout, and Coach Hoskins not liking that. A wide open layup, he's not going to put up with that. 14 to two with 2.15 to go here in the first quarter. Stay with us, we'll be back. Welcome back to Memorial Gym. It's 14-2. Uh, Bulldogs leading over the Commodores. As Commodores really got something on the basket, man, and it's not falling for them. And the defensive has it's been pretty tough in the paint as well. They're just keeping their keeping their man out of the lane as much as they can. It's been physical. You've got to go through the contact and lay it in. They're very cold. It's Start. Coach Hoskins calls another timeout to try with 2.15 to get it going here. And let's see what kind of adjustments he comes up with. Well, we want to thank our sponsors tonight for having us down here at the ball game. And want to thank Eddie Browning and the administration at Hazard High School for having us along. We greatly appreciate them letting us be here. And uh, fun time when you come to Hazard. Echo those remarks, and uh, as Castle brings it up with no pressure, as Sumner has come in the game for uh, Perry Central. Coach Hoskins, a little more space and leaving the middle a little open right there. Nice. And, and Sumner comes off the bench and scores two right off the bat. Uh, that's And it's a steal by Beverly, and there's a block. Kincaid makes a block from behind, goes to the floor. It looks with like Sumner, and it's going to be ball. a jump ball, and nice. it goes to Hazard. Going this way. 
And that brings us to a media And we'll timeout. have our media break that we have near four minutes of the uh, each quarter, but uh, where the ball was in play and we took the time out, so it's a little later. So we'll take a quick 30 second break and we'll be back to Memorial Gym, 14 to four. Welcome back to Memorial Gym, 14 to four. Hazard uh, with the lead over the Commodores and hello to Roberta Waddell Dewey all the way down in the western part of the state. I wanna say hello to her, big basketball fan. She was a follower of Harold Mullins, always they knew each other for years and Earl always hollered at her, and we told her me and you, man, as we continue to holler at her, and glad she's along watching high school basketball tonight. Minute 44 to go in the quarter, 14 to four, and all we need is a piece of Ann Dixon peanut butter roll. We'd be set for this ball game. As Combs knocks down the two. Nice shot by Combs, the little 10-footer, and he gets set there and falls through. He's very good at that. He's a very pure shooter, and uh, Cottle found him as Kaiser Sloan rises up, misses the three. Good rebound by S Sumner, and Castle gets it in there. Castle, that was all muscle by the big guys. He gets the roll. The lead's at 10 with a minute 16 to go, minute 14, and the clock continues to run. And Sumner has come off the bench to ignite the Commodores with his hustle. And we've got a jump basketball. And it will go to the Commodores. Fifth school ball game. Don't expect nothing else. If the ball goes to the floor, you better get on it. You better get on it. These two guys coaching these teams, they be will. be a sub. Yes, they <laughs> expect you to play 100%, these coaches do. You're exactly right. As we go up and we cross the minute uh, to go. As Beverly goes back with that one four set. Got the mismatch on the block and Castle. Castle's very good there when he can turn off that block. He's strong, got a good follow through. Hazard switched on the screen with Kincaid and he was on a mismatch with uh, Carter Castle. Hazard sets their offense set as Commodore stay in the man. Kaiser Sloan has done an outstanding job on the Eversole. Cottle rises up with a three, got it. Plays a little music from downtown Hazard, Cottle, and uh, 19 nature score, 10 seconds. I don't know if uh, Commodores are paying any attention to the clock, it's down to five. Now here's the screen. Got to get it off, he does, and it does go. 19 8 or score. It's Hazard leading from the historic Memorial Gym. We'll be right back. to go into year 2022-23, so uh, if my count runs right about 37 years, that's a long time. Here goes Knight, and a three, Woods, yes! The fire still burns. I enjoy going out to the gym. Uh, I enjoy the kids. Hey, great idea! She caught the ball! Have mercy! I've got to a point now where I have seen Kids play today. 
And welcome back. I want to say hello to Ken Fugit over in Red Fox, Tommy Hall in Pippa Pass, and Drum Thornsbury over in Hyman. Those are the golfing buddies. They're very old friends. Three amigos. Pal. Yep, of Harold Mullins. He loved to golf with those guys. Now we're back to action and good defensive pressure by the Commodores minus to start out. Yeah, as Ratliff has come in the basketball game for Kincaid, and uh, the Commodores have the same group that ended the first quarter. Sumner has uh, took on the uh, trying to keep Cottle, who has nine points in the first quarter. Watch the lane by Hazard. Now they bring the big guy in, but they're leaving it open as well for the drive from Eversword Cottle. Uh, the Commodore's not switching on the screen, so let's see how that works out. Getting right up as a pump fake by Ratliff. It takes Woods. Nothing there for him. Good patience. As Caudill is, uh, loses. No, he does not lose the basketball. Gives it up to Combs. He misses the three as Sumner gets the rebound. Combs a nice touch there. He just shot it a little hard, but he hits that shot. Your old step and good by Woods. Woods puts uh, 10 points. That's the 10 point for the Commodores in the game, and they're down nine. And uh, four for Woods. Caudill goes a little deep. Combs with a jumper. Short. Ratliff comes over the top, misses it. And it's going to be Commodore basketball. Not for the faint of heart. Nineteen ten. I have to say this: we've got to play a quarter and two minutes close <laughs> to it. the defensive pressure is at both ends at the fullest. Yep. And there's only been one foul call. Yeah, Woods with a show uh, doesn't get the row as ever so gets the rebound. Did not use the high screen pick and roll that time with Higgins to get a to get a mismatch inside. Ratliff a shooter on this left side here, and I'm sure he's in because Coach Holland has both shooters on each side. And and uh, Woods didn't know where the ball was. Uh, Castle had knocked it back out to the front. Beverly with intense defense on Cottle, not willing to let him get it back. As Ratliff goes to the go, and there's going to be a foul on Sumner, I believe. Ratliff a good screen yes. there, and as he does his pivot move, he protects the ball because he dropped it lower to the floor, Mass. That was a very good move by Ratliff. Ratliff at the line to shoot two. Free throw goes. This guy. Very good free throw shooter and shoots extremely well on the wings as well for the Hazard Bulldogs. And Miller comes in for Beverly as Ratliff will shoot the second one and it goes. 21 10 and 5.38 to go as here comes the Commodores. And Ramey's back in for the Bulldogs as Kaiser Sloan takes. And uh, Johnson, who come in the basketball game, makes the steal. Coach Hoskins wanting a foul call on that. Good spacing by Hazard. Very central, good pressure defensively. Eversole with a deep three, and he's got it. Eversole's that big guy, and he can go out there and shoot that ball. He's very hard to defend because of his size. And that's his first three as Castle rises up to shoot the three. Miller with the offensive rebound. Not sure if that's what uh, Coach Hoskins wants uh, Castle to do. I believe right where he's at right now is where he needs to be. Eversole with the deflection. Kaiser Sloan with the tap to uh, Miller. And uh, got Don't both get hands. a hand check yep. there, yep. I believe, yes. That's Ratliff's first. first and uh, you know, when you've done it, the referee says twice, don't put both hands on. The, yeah, know, yeah. It's, that means next time you put both hands, it's going to be a call. Officials doing a very good job. Well, they're letting them play basketball. Yeah. 
And uh, Woods with a miss and Eversole with a rebound. The pace has slowed down as well, David. Allen. It has. It's it's gone more to sets now in half court than running the floor and taking that quick shot or and whatever. And that's Hazard's ball game. As Cottle goes it up, is. Uh, Rattles doesn't go, and Miller with another rebound. Cottle got a good look. That 15 footer, you get a, a shot like that, he takes it. Castle with a kick out. Clears the lane. Woods is a kid. I think the Commodores just got to get involved and maybe get a few shots. And Sloan loses it to Johnson. Sloan's struggling in the paint. He's getting bumped there. He's got to be tougher there hanging on to that ball. And got a final foul on Sloan. And I think it's going to be uh, a media timeout, and, and we're going to take it. So it's 24 to 10, 3.36 to go. Stay with us. We've got a physical ball game in the hazard. And the ball stolen by Hall, put it up good. I'm 85, getting ready to go into year 2022-23, so uh, if my count runs about 37 years, that's a long time. Here goes Knight, and a three, Woods, yes! The fire still burns. I enjoy going out to the gym. Uh, I enjoy the kids. I've got to a point now where I have seen kids play today. I saw their dad, in some cases, even their grandfather. So, uh, you know, you kind of you kind of get used to them hollering at you, and I like that. Welcome back to Memorial Gym here in Azure, 24 to 10. I want to say hello to William Madden over in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, watching the ball game night. Him and Nita, good to have them. Wake Forest University. Down there. Absolutely. Back to action as we go, and the man-to-man -man defense continues for the Commodores. And I kind of listened to Coach Hoskins, and he was talking about emotion and keeping your emotions. Missed shot by Johnson, rebound by Woods. He advances up to Sumner. Sumner with a fake to Ramey, and Ramey has got both hands on him. Yeah, you reach, and, and that's going to be his first. Commodore's trying to get the ball in play here. You know, you, you've seen Commodore set the high screen, and I think Coach Hoskins is doing a good job with yeah. bringing Hazard out from under the basket some and giving Number his 20, players Ramey room to move. That'll be Ramey's second. Uh, yeah, and you know that's trying to get the mismatch for uh, Castle. Yeah, and then Coach Holland doing a great job down here of setting uh, Eversoe and Caudill and uh, isolating them as good as he does. Here comes the high screen pick and roll that we mentioned. And there's the, there is the switch. They're not playing Kaiser Sloan, backing off of him as Sumner knocks down the three. Sumner, a nice shooter, a 20 footer there and a good follow through and had a good base with his feet to hit that jumper. Never thought about it, David Adams. Just, <laughs> just shot the basketball. Absolutely. Ever so with a shot misses. Now that was off by balance. Woods. A little bit of a force there. Yeah. Woods brings it up quickly. Goes back up after they lose him and draws the foul. Woods has got to get involved uh, more offense. Uh, he's a good shooter. He's got to make things happen. And uh, they need his scoring. And he needs to go to the line. He's shooting 94% yeah. for the season. So yeah. as many times as they can get him to the line, it, it, it is. It serves the purpose, and he knocks yeah. down the first. He's a very good free throw shooter. The leads at 10. We can go to single digits with another one here. Glad I didn't jinx him, but uh, when you're that good, you, you don't usually miss many free throws. <laughs> well, that's true. 94% <laughs> is pretty decent. He's too he makes the second one. Yeah. 
I Notice, never shot 94% in my lifetime. Notice tonight that Coach Holland has used his big guy to bring the ball up. As he gets it to, and there's going to be a foul. Yeah. As Eversole goes through three people, finds Ratliff, and he puts it in. That was a nice pass to Ratliff, and uh, Ratliff goes up, concentrates, puts it in the square, and puts it in for a nice bucket for the Bulldogs. He'll have a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. 26-15, their scorer. And uh, Radliff has come Radliff off the bench and played well. He has four. Yes, he has. Make it five. It's been huge tonight to help the Bulldogs. And that foul was not on Kaiser Sloan. It was on Carter Castle. And uh, Eversol with a steal on the crossover. Got a three against two. Gives it up. And Eversol. Textbook when you get a bounce pass from the foul line down. That's the way you do it. Miller with a spin. Gives it up to Castle. Castle goes up. Blocked by Johnson. Radloff advancing the basketball up. Gives it back out Kincaid. And they'll run their offense. Got the basketball where they needed to. Castle underneath. Coach Holland calls play number two, and Ratliff thought about it. And the contact, and it's going to go out on Ratliff. I like the battle of Ratliff. He went in there physical, and, you know, he's played a lot of miniature. He may be getting tired and has to take a break. And Kind of got caught underneath the backboard. Yeah. Had to go back with the left yeah. hand back into the person, and... Uh, they had position as Nice and Beverly comes back in with a minute and 29. Absolutely, and uh, if you're Purry, you need some bucket chair. You want to have this to uh, 10 if you could by half. Got to find something from somewhere. Beverly on the switch, has the angle, goes up. And misses it. Eversole with a rebound. Stolen by Sloan, and he puts it in. Kaiser gets a big bucket there. Under a minute to go, 29-17. One thing about Coach Hoskins' teams, they will not quit, period. And Kaiser Sloan with his first points of the Same season. thing with Coach Holland. Their, their teams are just not made to quit. Man, so they will play 32 minutes. And Beverly will pick up his first foul. Hard nosed, is that is that the correct term, David? Hard nosed by both they, teams. They are. They're both hard nosed, and uh, you know they they just go at it and uh, they just play 100. percent That's the way high school basketball should be played. Meant to be. Yes, yeah, exactly right. Uh, trying to keep uh, Cottle from getting the basketball. Kincaid pump fakes. He thought about it. We're down to 18. Sumner lets him get the basketball back, and they're going to yeah. call a hand check on Sumner. And that's going to be his second, and that's going to be the field. So that will yeah. be uh, two shots will come in as Miller comes off the bench. 29-17, their score with 16 seconds to go here in the half. Seth Cottle shooting 63% for the season, and he'll shoot the first and knocks it down. Seth Cottle, a very good guard. He's kind of like Woods of Perry when those two guys shoot. You, you have, expect it to go you, you in. You expect it to go in, absolutely. Second one is up, and he makes the second one. Give him 11 yeah, with, for the first half. With 12 seconds. Will they go to Kaiser Sloan? I believe you're going to Carter Castle. Carter Castle. Beverly with the three. But right there is Castle with a putback. <laughs> nice touch as he gets the bucket. And that's going to put her score at 31 19 at the half as a 12 point lead for the Bulldogs. Please stay with us. We have Man Toyota at the half coming up. We'll talk uh, about who's. But getting in the score on column and uh, not many games in the region, so we'll deal with it like that. So <laughs> stay with us when we come back to Memorial Gym. We'll be back. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. 
with the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And welcome back to Memorial Gym here at Hazard. And I uh, want to say hello to our buddies, our big buddies. Who Frank Fletcher, uh, down in Breathitt County, him and Tracy. Good to have them along. Great people they are. And Henry B. Combs, what a sportsman Henry B. Combs is. And Doug Allen. Uh, now that's some Breathitt fans right there. Manus. And glad to have them along as always. Yeah, so. they're tuning in to scout for Friday night. No doubt. Want to welcome you to the Man Toyota at the half. It's 3119. Manus, 
What has Perry done and what has the Bulldogs done? Well, of course, couldn't overcome that slow start. Of course, I, uh, you know, I said mark down on the second timeout. Since the second timeout, Perry Central and Hazard has been 17 to 17. So they found what they need to do. Can they overcome that? 12 point deficit, and I'm sure they can, but they got to get some shots. And Kaiser Sloan has to has to get involved some way on scoring points. He has two here at halftime. A little bit frustrated earlier, and uh, got to find his way in there. And you know he he can knock down the three, but they're backing off of him, allowing him to take that three. He just got to catch it, go up and shoot it, take the ball off the dribble. Hazard down here. Took a while for Evan Eversole to get in the basketball game, but other people have scored for the uh, Bulldogs and led once again by Seth Con uh, Cottle uh, with 11. Uh, Don Combs, yeah. two big shots early in the first quarter for his five points. Uh, Nick Ratliff came off the bench and, and did some. Mason yeah. Sumner for uh, right. Perry Central comes off, ignites them. With his defense, with his and, and scoring, he he has five points at halftime, but came in with intensity. And I think since he was brought in, it really upped the the Commodores, and they got up on their toes on the defensive end. So a lot of different things looking at it, and uh, I'm sure both coaches in there talking back and forth with their players to try to figure out how can Hazard keep the lead. And how can Perry Central get back in? And kind of like the girls' game at halftime, chipping away. Perry Central's got to chip away at that 12-point deficit. Yeah, absolutely. And they're very capable of that, especially with a shooter like Woods on the floor. And uh, and Woods has got to find his shot, David. Yeah, he's been attempting to take those shots a little deeper than he normally does, but he is a deep shooter. And, I, I, you know, he's very comfortable with shooting 22, 23 feet. He does it very well. And it may be that high post screen and roll we talked about at the top of the key with uh, Beverly and Woods with a basketball with Castle so that they get that switch. The problem is how they enter it down. If there's nobody playing them, they're just backing up where Castle's at and they cannot enter the ball to Castle on the block. Well, I tell you, I think the first three minutes are going to be very key for uh, the Commodores. They want to want to get in a good flow and get started and hit some shots. And if you're Hazard, you want to keep it going. And like you said, they've had some big play tonight from Caudill, Everso, and Ratliff off the bench come in and contributed well and give them a punch. So uh, Hazard uh, doing a very good job sharing the basketball tonight. Got good movement. And if you're Commodores, I think. Coach Hoskins had got his team in a good structure down here, but sometimes they're losing the ball going in the paint, not being strong with it, and I'm sure right. he's going to address that. You've got to be, you got to be tall in the saddle when you go in there tonight. You, uh, can't, you're you, right. can't, you can't just sell uh, or fade away. You're, you're not right. going to get the call tonight. You're not going to make that basket if you fall away or you right. try to avoid contact right. taking the ball to the basketball to go. Absolutely. Want to remind everyone our next telecast will come from Knott County Central High School on Thursday as the Letcher County Central Cougars will come over for a doubleheader, and we will have that one for you at the Morton Combs Athletic Complex. We're just a minute away. Third quarter coming up, 31-19. Stay with us. High school basketball, more to come. I just want to watch the game. That turn on the ceiling fan, use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. Welcome back to Memorial Gym here at Hazard. 31-19 or score, third quarter getting ready to start from the historical Memorial Gym that we love to come and see so often. Some great basketball games here at Memorial Gym. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, we're getting ready here to start our third quarter. If you're wondering, a lot of people are 
Uh, we had some sound. Uh, I got a text that the sound on YouTube is back, I reckon, so it's doing good. So glad for that. Cable's working fine, so we're in good shape there. Manus, Commodores will have the basketball, I think, these first three minutes. We had talked earlier at the man Toyota at the half. It's very crucial they get started. Got to get some Got to try to find some way of getting some easy baskets. And it may have to come off their defense. And uh, very few defensive things have uh, 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 led to an easy basket for the Commodores. Notice one four structure, or, or mainly the high low structure, are both players starting out high. And there's the screen and uh, block by Higgins. They got what they wanted coming out of the halftime. Castle just wasn't able to uh, go through the contact and, and uh, put the ball in the basket. Hazard starts with so at the left corner of the lane, and he, he does well there on his cut. And nice pass, left nice. hand and good. so is really uh, making his teammates look good. Well, he's, he's recognizing that they're doubling him, and then he's looking to find the open man. Beverly to the baseline, finds Nice. Nice kicks it to Sloan. And Sloan missed it, tips it out, and Nice will uh, grab it out here. Commodore's just having a, a tough time uh, getting in the scorebook right now, just not hitting. And Nice misses the, the jumper. You get two good looks, and Hazard gets one, and Rebound, and uh, I think Higgins is a little bit shy. He's getting up. He's getting up. As Woods goes to the goal, misses it. Eversol with the rebound. It kind of should have maybe stopped and took the 15-footer, Manus. And blocked by Kaiser Sloan. And uh, they may want to get a little towel down there. There's a little moisture where Higgins and Castle had gone down. You know, the officials going to get the towel and try Coach to. Coach Hoskins couldn't have drawn it up any better coming out of halftime to get what he wanted, which was Castle down on the block down there. So yeah, you're right. And then Kaiser Sloan, as we talk, Kaiser Sloan point blank, he's got to put that in. As uh, AD Eddie Browning does a little cleanup underneath. Yeah. Coach Mike Holcomb uh, down in Breathitt County. How are you and Debbie tonight? Glad to have you all along with Tim Hogg and his boss. And glad you're watching Hometown 24. And nice nice play by there. Combs. Combs yeah. just pulled off, left-hand dribble, pulls straight up off of both feet and knocks it down. As uh, Sumner will come in for Perry Central. Good spacing as Commodores will get in their flow of the offense. Woods tries to get it to Castle, and it's tied up. And uh, I think uh, Higgins, after he got yeah. the basketball, pushed off. Yeah, he did. Good sportsmanship but by him. He, he did. tapped It's uh, just Castle. a hard nose yep. play. Used his arm, you know. Yep. And uh, and uh, Sumner comes in for Nice. So that's, that would be a turnover for the Bulldogs. Having difficulty getting it in, yeah, Kaiser that was, Sloan. That was good pressure by Hazard on the inbound play on defense. Beverly up, and it rolls off as uh, Eversol with a rebound. One and done. Caudill with a mismatch against Castle. See if he'll take him. Beverly switches back to him. Caught up with a shot, misses it. Higgins with a rebound, gathers himself and goes back up and in. Higgins, Collins, Eversole. Good height and strong as well, Minus. Yep, and it's gonna be an offensive foul, looks like. Um, and it will be on Castle. Like Castle will get the foul as he tried to set the screen. So, uh, and 
That's his, his, uh, that's his second foul. That'll be a turnover against Purry Central. As Purry Central picks up full court. Combs a little out of control. Yeah. Threw that went away. To be honest, I thought he had a lane to go to the rim yeah, on did. the left side, to be honest. Aggravated you know. at himself, throwing yeah. that away. As Ramey, he thought Ramey was going, and Ramey stood fast at the three-point line. Right. Beverly, and that's going to be a foul on Ramey. Now, it seems like we're getting a whistle either trip down, uh, people getting a little tired and reaching maybe or getting beat. Yep. And, uh, Reaching in a grab, and yeah. that, but that's three now on Ramey. Yeah. Trying to get something for Woods out on the kick out as uh, Cottle deflects it out of, bat, uh, out of bounds here. Prairie Central got to find something. Well, you know, we got Castle coming out, set the screen, trying to do the pick and roll. Beverly shot, missed. Tap out to Kaiser Sloan. And I think it's going to be a foul on the floor. Foul on hazard number two. Looks like Kaiser will get uh, a couple free throws here at 37-19. Commodore's just not finding the real minus. They're just not hitting it very well. You got to get to the free throw line to get a few easy baskets and get some points. And, and you know they've not got a whole lot of looks because the defensive hazard has been there and. Nothing, nothing has come easy. No. Second shot up, and it is good. Nice touch there, and it's at 21-37. Which allows uh, Perry Central to get into their 2-2-1. Two -two Ever so having to bring help bring that ball down. Good job by the Bulldogs to pass it down. And Higgins says, back it out. Showing good leadership there. And it's not like the Commodores are not playing some tight defense either. No, I mean, they've gotten after it from the time the game started. And that's going to be a foul on uh, Woods. Yeah. Woods has his first foul in the ball game at the four-minute mark. And... Uh, Eversole with a shot, misses it, and Higgins with a rebound, stolen or not, he gets it back, and it's going to be a foul. Foul is on Perry Central's number It's going to be on Beverly. Beverly yeah. Second. Team and we're going to have a media timeout, and we'll take that as well at 354, 37-21. Hazard, we'll be back. And the ball stolen by Hall, put it up good! I'm 85, getting ready to go into year 2022-23, so uh, if my count runs at about 37 years, that's a long time. Here goes Knight, and a three, Woods, yes! The fire still burns. I enjoy going out to the gym. Uh, I enjoy the kids. I've got to a point now where I have seen kids play today. I saw their dad, in some cases, even their grandfather. So, uh, you know, you kind of you kind of get used to them hollering at you, and I like that. Thirty-seven twenty-one is our score, and at three fifty-four to go, third quarter. Got the sixteen-point lead, and it's getting uh, getting time for the Commodores to make a move and uh, got to find something. Try to close it some. Caught him, spin, spin, turns back, misses it short. Castle with a rebound. There's going to be a foul. And that's Higgins, and that's going to be his second. I thought he wasted that one, minus, to be honest with you. Yeah, you got to get back. 80 feet from the ice get in. I'm sure Coach Holland said, you just get back, son. Yeah. Uh, 
Here's the high post screen. Did not switch that time. Kaiser Sloan misses it. That's, that's a nice jumper, that's though. The, that's his shot that he normally hits. That's the right shot. And boys his way to Higgins there with the rebound, and there's going to be a foul. Looks like Woods is going to get the foul. Hit him on the arm, and uh, looks like we're going to have two free throws and uh, opportunity to add to the lead here. Yep. And that's Higgins will shoot two. Misses the first one. Shooting 53% for the season. Got to hit those free throws. It can help you down the stretch. Yep. Misses both. You know, you get in the stretch of the game, you got to have them, man. You got to have them. Kaiser Sloan with a three. Comes up short. Good Come box out by. That time by Combs yeah. as uh, Ramey goes and gets the rebound. Commodore's playing hard tonight, just not hitting shots. Got two hands on him, and that's that going to be the call. And you can see each trip down that Coach Holland will turn it over and turn it over and try to get that middle oh, yeah. open. Run yeah. the clock. Uh, they'll be in the double bonus now. Both teams, the rest of the 248 of the third quarter as Caudill will go for his two. Makes the first. Coach Holland going back to the bench. Kincaid will come in for uh, Ramey. As Caudill will shoot the second one. And it's good. Give him 13. 39 21, 240 to go here in the third. And there's the screen and roll. Beverly threw it, missed it. Sloan up with the shot, missed well, I it. Tell you, uh, you, oh. you, know, you know, when you, uh, and you, you play hard. down right now. And by nothing going in. Don't have the ability to get into the press. Kick to Caudle. Caudle with a jumper, and it's good. Caudle's tough there at 15 footer. He elevates, turns around, good follow through, and hits the shot. Forty-one twenty-one. Castles come out high, and Woods will try to make something happen over here. Gives it to Castle, and Good there drive. it is. Good, Good drive. Castle. Nice six-footer by Castle off the left side. Good assist by Woods, taking it to the baseline. Took up the man, got it back to him. Bounce pass off the board and good for Combs. Textbook basketball with a bounce pass in the crowd. Assist to Caudle. So it gives uh, Combs nine points on the night. Castle had the mismatch, wasn't able to get it to him. Kaiser Sloan to the board, short, missed it. Solid screen, baseline pass, and Keith K goes up and good. Yeah, Coach Oscar's going to take a timeout here and try to sail it down. Well, full timeout it is. 45-23, hazard leading. We'll be back to Memorial Gym right after this. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. Welcome back to Memorial Gym. It's 23-45, Hazard leading, and uh, 
Manus and I was talking off air a little bit here, and it, it makes uh, it, it really sums the game up. Commodores not being able to hit some shots to get into their defense, and the Bulldogs, on the other hand, can throw it up anyway. And well, and you know the thing gone. about it is, you become desperate on the defensive end, and you open up some things that you normally don't. Yeah, you know it's become a half court game rather than a full court game, which lends itself more to hazard than it does to Perry County Central. You are right. You are right. Uh, and thanks to Kevin Nichols, he's gave me three scores. Knock County Central boys, 74, Cordia, 33. Knock County Central girls, 67 to 20. And uh, Richmond model, 72, Lee County, 55. So thank you, uh, Kevin Nichols. Hey, Kevin, a good score man. Yep, he's I hope our man, Darren Mullins, is doing well. He's been under the weather and been in the hospital, I reckon. I hope he is doing better. He's such a great guy. Always keeps up with us and just a fine gentleman. Four shot by Sumner over Combs. Yeah, prayers go out to all the people that are sick and ill during the time of Christmas, and it's just hardship on everybody. Yeah. Nice pass to Combs from every side. Well, Combs. really, Coach Hog Holland has left the middle open, and he's letting one guy drive in the opposite side cutting, and – they're shooting layups right now in Memorial Gym. 15 seconds. Looks like Commodores will set something here quickly as Everso thought he had a screen. Everso is just done it all tonight, Manus. And him and Caudill has played a special game, and they've got plenty of help from their teammates as well. His, uh Jersey is soaking wet. Four seconds, got to get it off. As Beverly in and out dribble takes it to the go, and he is going to be fouled before the horn goes off. Yeah, so he, he'll shoot two shots. Yeah, he's going to get two. Yeah, Beverly's not Robert's shot it well tonight either. Last first. time we had him on, he shot well. And the team's so uh, Beverly, we're, we're going to have line, two free throws Colorado. here. We'll see how those go. First one is there. Yeah. Beverly 47 24. You have one more. Try to cut in to the lead some more. And, and there it goes. So we'll take a break as well. It's 25 47 hazard. And we'll be back. Quarter number four coming up. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. Fourth quarter getting ready to start here at Memorial Gym. And want to remind everyone again on Thursday night, we'll be at Knott County Central High School for Letcher County Central and Knott County Central. So you, that's a double header. So be sure to tune in for that. Quarter number four underway from Memorial Gym. Uh, it's like Miller and Smith has checked in for Perry County Central. Beverly with a kick out to Smith. Smith and doesn't go in. I mean, it touched all the rim everywhere. It just would not go. And uh, you just feel bad for Perry Central. Back screen to Combs. Combs up. Finds it. Ever so with a special pass. That's 13 for Combs. Be a foul. Combs with a big ball game tonight for Hazard. 
played good on the defensive end. He's knocked played. down the shots that's been given to him. Yes. He has 13 tonight. Right now, he's one of those guys uh, trying to get that Al Lloyd College player you're, of the game. You're exactly right. And I'm not sure he's even been out of the basketball game. I don't recall he ever coming out. Miller with a three. And a long Smith with the rebound. You know, if you told me that Perry Central would have had 27 <laughs> points with six something to go in the game, I would have took that bet. Uh, yeah. I would have took it. And like we were talking, this allows them to get into the, the trap as Beverly knocked the shot down. Eversole with a deep three. Probably uh, kind of. Well, the, the first one. few times I've said this year that might have not have been a good shot. Yeah. But with Eversole, I don't know if he's ever had a wide open three that you wouldn't think is a good shot. Yeah. Beverly to the go up and down. <laughs> nice move by Beverly, yes. <laughs> That was a loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah, absolutely. 49-29. And you will continue to see Perry play hard. That's the trademark of Coach Hoskins. Their kids always finish, start and finish the game hard. And after the rush shot, I think you'll see a little time being ran off this time by the Bulldogs. Yeah, Dalton Combs cut through there. He wanted the ball. He was ready for it, Minus. A little bit late on the, when Kincaid saw him there. Yeah. There's Everso off the board. Missed it. Higgins with a rebound. Fumbles it. Picks it back up. Coach Holland will hold up the number five and they'll start it all over again. And uh, coaching staff for Perry Central asking them to come out and put a little bit more pressure on the basketball. I think you hit it a nail on the hand, uh, minus when you mentioned earlier tonight, Perry not making shots and getting in that pressure defense. Yep. It's, you know, it's kept them out of that. Ever so with a three, and a little bit long. There's Higgins again with a rebound. Caudill up with a shot, long rebound by Beverly. Now Caudill and Everso has not come out of the ball game so far. Three tonight. by Beverly. Three for Beverly. Gives him seven in this uh, fourth quarter. Sign of life from the crowd and from Perry Central. Shot is going down. Kincaid with a three. And rattles and goes. Gives him eight for the game. Beverly trying to get it to Castle, deflected and goes out of bounds. In the game for Hazard, number four, right about ten, number 22, Johnson. And for Perry Central, number 11, Wood. Combs and Higgins goes out. Johnson and Ratliff in for Hazard. Well, uh, you're getting some uh, people in. You want to get a little more experience if you're Coach Holland, uh, especially Ratliff and Johnson. You want because tournament time. You'll need them down the line. You bet. You've got to play more kids in that tournament. And Beverly a little central. bit long. Rebound by Ratliff and Woods, Woods is called for the foul. Woods, uh, Woods is uh, that was a hustle foul, and you can live with that because you know he was playing hard, trying to get the ball. So, but anyway, we'll take a uh, timeout here from Memorial Gym, thirty-two fifty-two, over three minutes to go. Stay with us for the finish. 
For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Welcome back to Memorial Gym in Hazard. Man, I tell you, had a lot of fans here tonight, man. It's a uh, nice crowd. Yep, Perry County Central girls winning the first game over the Lady Bulldogs, and uh, they played well tonight uh, behind Emily Neese, who had an outstanding game. Mac Lawrence played as well, too, and uh, Perry's girls rolling tonight. So. And in the second game here at 52-32, uh, Hazard shooting the ball extremely well, and uh, Perry Central not done it so well. This is Duran. Duran's out of the hospital on Friday. Stayed seven days. Old soccer injury. Glad to see that old boy out. Uh, we thank the world of Duran, a good sportsman and a just a good fella. Caught on short on it, and that's going to be a foul as Beverly got the rebound. That'll be Johnson. That'll be his second. Well, you got 3.33. If you're Commodores, you want to try to get his shot up as quick as you can and uh, get something to go and yeah. here at the end. Beverly up, and it's off, and Johnson goes up with two hands and rips down the rebound. Yeah, absolutely. And looks like, and I thought it was, and it's going to be a foul, and that foul will be on. That will be on uh, Beverly, and that'll be his third. Beverly will come out of the game. I thought he played defense hard tonight. He just what he just wasn't hitting a shot. The last time we had him on, he shot the ball. Yeah, and you know he's Much got better. seven points here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he's got the only seven points. Back door to Cottle and lays it in. Ever so is uh, seventeen for uh, Cottle. Yeah, and that's going to be a block on Ever so. Ever so went the other way, and he may have got the worst of that. Five, his first. The team Sloan thought about it, but he'll back it over to Woods as he goes to the right side. And nice he's move. Go, he's going to convert. Yeah. Woods, uh, a small guard, but I tell you, I like the kid. He plays extremely hard. Good shooter, good attitude, too. He, he uh, encourages his teammates to Stoic. play hard. You never know if he's ahead or whether he's behind. He, yeah. uh, and, of course, I've already said an outstanding free throw shooter. Absolutely. And I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> you jinxed him, Manus. I apologize, Trayton. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> Two and a half minutes, 54-34. Backdoor cut by Ratliff, stolen by Castle. Gets it up in the air to Woods. Woods goes up and lays it in. That's pretty central Commodore basketball right there. Run, get the ball out. Puts him in double figures at 10. And turnover by the Bulldogs. And, yep. you know, that's one of the things they were not able to do is speed right. up the Bulldogs. Yeah. And uh, there'll be at least one or two more times that they'll play the Bulldogs. Absolutely. Kaiser Sloan. Yeah. <laughs> and there goes Kaiser Sloan, Kaiser and he with an knocks it in. Give him six. <laughs> 54-38 with under two minutes. Basketball gods have not been good to him on this end down here. Back in the game is Combs and short. Nice drive by Dalton, but uh, 
Come up a little short on the right side. Guys are a good look, Manus, and it's, 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 the rebound. it's yep. been the way it's been tonight. Sometimes it just doesn't go down for you. My moral gym starts to empty out a little bit, and uh, I'm sure the next time they meet, it will fill up at John C. Combs Arena. Be a lot of disappointed Perry County Central fans tonight. And that's going to be a foul on Castle. That was on Perry Central's number one. Castle, his third. It's the team third. Seth Carlin will go to the line for the Bulldogs. Caudle, uh, one of these kids that uh, has really, really got better from last year. I mean, he was a pretty good you got to remember, he's still a sophomore. I know. That's uh, amazing how much he jumped from freshman. And you know, when you look at he both. He was pretty good last oh, year. When you look at both of these teams, next year, they're going to have almost everybody back on both sides. Oh, my God. Kaiser Sloan, of course, is a senior, and his yeah. auto makes his second. Yeah. Gives but him 19 as Beverly, and that's going to be a jump ball. Looks like ever so we'll get a assist there. Under a minute, 56-38. Dalton Combs will be your Al Sloyd College player of the game. Dalton, uh, a good night tonight as he's played extremely well defense and uh, sophomore guard. Yeah, played well. And looks like I don't know if uh, the Bulldogs are going to shoot another shot or not. Yeah. I mean, uh, this Bulldog team is really, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Manus. I think they're uh, <laughs> in tournament form at this time. Proving themselves. Yeah. As uh, Eversole <laughs> rips it away from Rattler. And he's going to throw it away. We're down to 10 seconds, 38-56. And there's the touch. And it'll be 56-40, and that's going to be the final score of the ball game. So it's 56-40. We're going to take a quick break. Hopefully we get with Dalton Combs when we come back. So stay with us here on Hometown 24. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. Welcome back to the historic Memorial Gym where the Hazard Bulldogs have been victorious over the Prairie County Central Commodores 56-40. Their Al Sloyd College player of the game, Dalton Combs, a special game out of him tonight, played defense well. And glad you joined us, Dalton, for our uh, Al Sloyd College player of the game. Dalton, a very physical game tonight. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the keys that you all were looking for early to get your team started. Um, well, early he wanted us to come out and make sure we execute our offense very well and uh, make sure we play physical on defense. We knew that was going to come out. It was going to be a physical game, and we just knew we had to come out real physical and play defense. Very impressive with the way you all shared the basketball tonight. I thought you did a great job of that, uh, and I thought you took advantage of under the paint under the goal quite a bit uh, by good passes. Uh, I noticed you were shooting tonight. You shot it well from out in the floor, and you shared it as well. You worked quite a bit this summer, I take it. Yeah, thank, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, we knew we had to come out and get it to our bigs down low early because uh, we have very good bigs inside, and, uh, yeah, we knew we had to come out. Yeah, I think you all were 
Dalton, to be honest with you, I think you're all playing uh, as good as you'll see anybody anywhere right now, the way you all are getting up down the court and sharing. You've got Eversole, Caudill playing well, you big guy underneath, and you come off the bench with some good players. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, we yeah we have great bench players come in, and when we need a, when we need a break, they come in and do a great job. Well, Dalton, I want to congratulate you for being the Al Sloy College Player of the Game. I thought you was big tonight, big man. I Thank thought you. you played well. Thank you. All right. Dalton Combs of the uh, Hazard Bulldogs on a big game or Al Sloyd College Player of the Game. want to remind everybody uh, we'll be at Knott County Central for the Cougars and Patriots main on Thursday night. Should be a dandy. It's Coach Taylor and Coach Huff. Maybe we ought to let them play the second half. <laughs> I've watched both games that they've played so far, girls and boys, and uh, and uh, it's been a tussle. It both, has. both of them have come down to the last, basically the last position. So look forward to that Thursday night. Oh, absolutely. And it's always good to work with my friend Mana Splair. He always does a good job. For Mana Splair, Devin Combs on control, Josh Cornett on camera. We're going to see you Thursday night on Hometown 24, so be sure you tune in if you can't make it over to the game. Stay safe out there. It's Dave Adams, and we will catch you at the next high school basketball game. Have a good night, everyone.